So the signers of the Declaration of Independence pledge their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to secure our future. And that's why thousands of Americans, including President Clinton and former Presidents Bush, Carter, and Ford, and former First Lady Nancy Reagan are gathering over the next three days here in Philadelphia to pledge themselves to preserving and protecting the future, to take care of the youth of our country. That is the goal of the President's Summit for America's Future, which began here today. They're using the strongest possible materials to reinforce this tower, but the strongest resources we have to keep America strong are Americans themselves. The episode of Touched by an Angel that you are about to see is dedicated to those people, the volunteers who did not ask what more they could get from their country, but asked instead what they could do for their country, and then did not sit back to wait for an answer. They stood up and became part of the answer. This was inspired by a true story about the unlikeliest volunteers of all. And when it's over, I want to talk to you about the work that we can begin here tonight as volunteers together. I want to talk to you about what you can do. assignment, but he's not a man yet. Not a man at all. How old is he? He's 15, but he's been stealing cars since he was 12. And if he doesn't make a U-turn fast, he's not going to live to see 16. Yo, man, I know my rights. You got to send me back to Juvie. I ain't going to no county. You got to send me back to Juvie, man. Send me back home to my mom. I don't want him. What? Look, Mrs. DeLee, Jason is a minor. Now, as the responsible parent... I am not a responsible parent. If I was, I wouldn't have to keep coming down here. You keep him. What you doing? You tripping. You will have to sign some papers releasing all parental authority. And you're going to have to talk to someone in juvenile services. Then you better make the call. Volunteers? When you walk down the road, heavy burden, heavy load, I will rise and I
was 16, I got my first job at one of my McDonald's. My boss was cool. <laughs> Glenn was so successful, he ended up buying a McDonald's. One of mine. It was a big deal for him. Now, here's a big deal at my McDonald's. Big Mac, my size meal. Buy any drink, any size, and any size fries, and get a delicious Big Mac for just 55 cents. 55. Salutes the year it all began. So get a my size meal. Brother, I owe you. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> no, you forever in my debt. There you go. <laughs> This is what your house feels like on the new Coldwell Banker Real Estate website. It attracts lots of attention, so your home can be seen by thousands of buyers every day until it's sold. Online, on the phone, or in person. Coldwell Banker, making real estate real easy. This perfect moment is brought to you each and every night by the Serta Perfect Sleeper. Serta, we make the world's best mattress. They braved impossible hardships in a savage land and conquered it. But their story was never told. Now, it will never be forgotten. Inspired by a real family saga. True Women, CBS May 18th. Jason DeLee. Sit over there. Step it up. Move on down the aisle. Y'all ain't in church. Hey, get off me, punk! You wish, little girl! Hey, get back! Are you crazy? When this fool stepped on my shoes, waffle feet! What's your name? Ray. Ray what? Estes. Well, Mr. Estes, my name is Yes Sir. I'm a director at this camp, and the toes you best not step on are mine. Sit down! Hey. Keep your mouth shut and your hands to yourself. Do not speak, do not touch anything. Do not sit, stand, or blow your nose unless instructed by one of the officers. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Didn't your mothers teach you to rise when a lady enters the room? Come on, lift those tushes off those seats for your other facility director. Before I lift them up for you. Thank you. That was lovely. Now, get going. Nobody told me I was going to have to train a new director. Oh, I'm not the one who's getting the training. I'll be training you. Say what? The county has a new experimental work program they want to try out. We don't do any experimenting here. We already know what works. Oh, it works fine. Every time these boys come back and back and back. We're missing a pencil. I got 15 people and 14 pencils here. Nobody moves until we find that other pencil. You know who kept this pencil, you better give him up now before you end up with that number two point and you're back out on the playground. I'm waiting. I'm gonna count five and then I'm gonna call security and lock this place down. Comprende? Hello. I don't know who you are, but we're going to lockdown, so get out of here. That's Monica. She's the coordinator for the work program. It's nice to meet you. Oh, 
Did you drop a pencil? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just tell you about a lady? Give it up. Up, up now, up! Sit down. What do you have for me? Oh, this is a wealth of potential. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Monica. And she's come to evaluate the forms that you've just completed. And perhaps give some of you a very unique opportunity. Come on, baby, give me an opportunity. You watch your mouth, Mr. Estes. Monica is heading a program that needs volunteers. Strong, hardworking, intelligent people who have a little time. Now, I know you got the time. And you all look strong enough to me. Hard work is left up to you. And I guess we'll find out how intelligent you are if you have sense enough to listen to what she's going to say. Go ahead, baby. Well, all of those accepted will be working as volunteers every day at a facility outside this building. All right, man, get me out of here. Do we still gotta go to school? Yes, you do. But the volunteer hours will earn you academic credit towards graduation. You could even get your high school diplomas earlier. Earlier? Like I can go to college and be a doctor in January instead of June. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could. Jason DeLee. You've left the line special interest blank. Have you ever done anything that you received special recognition for? Yeah, I stole a Lexus once. <laughs> You're wasting your time here. Well, I've got all the time in the world, but these babies' time is running out real fast, so I'm gonna cut to the chase. I don't like your lifestyle. Monica doesn't like your lifestyle. God doesn't like your lifestyle, and whether you know it or not, you don't like your lifestyle. Everybody that volunteers will be helping someone else change their lifestyles. Everybody's life's gonna be better, and you will like that. Now, what I need right now are some volunteers. Volunteers. Volunteers, let's go. Get them up. Come on. There you go, baby. You came for me, I knew it. I brought you your stuff. Some underwear and a couple of magazines. I got you some of the car ones you like. I want no magazines. I want to go home. Tess said I did the right thing leaving you here. Look, I just want you to know I didn't do it because I don't care. I did it because I do. Monica has selected you for the new project. I didn't volunteer for that stupid thing. Well, Monica thinks you'd be wonderful because it takes passion. And honey, you got that. Baby, whatever it is, whatever chance they offering you, you take it. You hear me? Can I go now? Yes. Honey, you did real good. Real good. <gasps> Yes, you did. Oh, honey, it's gonna be all right. It's all gonna be all right. Dinner time! Let's go! Move it a starve, Dilly. You know what that's your mom's? I thought that was your pet monkey. Are you doing that volunteering thing, Estes? Yeah. What's it to you? Well, I'm volunteering too, then, punk. I'll take care of you then. Up there! Okay, everybody, listen up. My name is Andrew. I am a volunteer with Juvenile Services, and I am your bus driver. I think you know the drill. You stay in your seats. You do not change your seats. You do not get out of your seat when this bus stops until I give the OK. You got that?
Heard you can't drive, Delete. Heard you cranked on a parked car. Well, the first chance I get, punk, I'm putting you down. Ooh. Man thinks he's a writer. He could jack a car, but can't steal one Hi. for... Hello, Jason. Do you mind if I sit next to you? Happy to see you here. Tess said that you might not volunteer at all. What made you change your mind? Fresh air. And a chance to change somebody's life. Right? Line up. Line up. Nobody goes inside till I do. Inside? I thought we were sweeping and cleaning up freeways and stuff like that. There's kids in there. You hear that? Man, what is this place? Let's go. Good morning, children. These are the volunteers I was telling you about. Why don't you say hello to your new friends? Messy, sticky flea treatments have a nasty way of coming between you and your pet. Which is why, if you care about spending time with your dog, you shouldn't wait until you see fleas, but start him on program now. One safe program tablet once a month now will prevent you both from suffering the pangs of separation later. Program, because nothing should come between you and your pet, only from your veterinarian. Germs are so elusive. They lurk in dark, hard-to-reach places deep within the crevices of your mouth where your toothbrush and floss may not find them. And when they pounce, gingivitis. Gum disease is caused by germs. Listerine flows to places your toothbrush can't reach to kill those germs. It's the brand, the only brand clinically proven to help prevent gingivitis. Germs, they can hide from your brush, but not from the power of prevention. Listerine. You know what I care about even more than what my doctor says? What he does. How does he take care of his own headaches? What medicine does he use? That's what I want to know, not what leading medical research indicates. When my doctor has a headache, you know what he takes? Excedrin, the aspirin-free kind of Excedrin. So I tried it on my own headaches. And you know what? He's a pretty good doctor. Aspirin-free Excedrin, the headache medicine. There's nothing like Ocean Spray Cran Raspberry Juice Drink to put real zing in your life. Puts real zing in your wardrobe, too. <laughs> Ocean Spray, it's your zing. I'm so unconventional that instead of serving tea, I serve Ocean Spray Cran Apple Juice Drink. It has a distinctive taste that gives you real zing. No wonder you Americans threw that tea into the harbor. Ocean Spray, it's your zing. Mom says it's important to eat healthy, so we're eating more salad. Lots of it when it's got the dressing we all like. Hidden Valley, just bursting with the garden fresh taste of herbs and spices. Hidden Valley Ranch, good things grow in Hidden Valley. My mama takes a whiff of this and says, that's not pine saw. I said, mama, it's pine saw. She smells again. That's not pine saw. Mama, it's lemon fresh pine saw. The power of pine saw with a fresh lemon scent. Look how it cleans. Mama looks around and says, that is pine saw. Whether it's martial arts, music, or metal shop, you can become a master just by striving for excellence. Don't let drugs destroy all you've worked for. Be the master of your own life. An accident took his wife. I can't even imagine that pain. But when grief turns to anger, only Gerald McRaney can prevent another tragedy. All new Promised Land. Then, when attorney Nick Donahue's wife is found dead, he must defend the prime suspect, his mother. I don't want you to testify. Judith Light, Rick Schroeder, Too Close to Home, Tuesday. Hi there. Uh, I'm Joe Beth, and this is Mary. And we're teachers here. 
Um, we're really glad you guys are here. This is the first time we've ever used volunteers from juvenile services, and we're hoping it works out, because we really need the help. So, Mary and I are going to teach you how to help us. Hello, Joe Beth. Hello, Mary. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Let's go. Your two minutes are up. So, Austin, you can work with Kim, okay? It's just you and me, Special K. And what about Gerard? <laughs> Not me. Ray? Are you volunteering? Yeah. Easy. So, Jason, that leaves you and Miss Kelly here to make up the final team. What's wrong with her? Kelly was born with cerebral palsy. She came into this world unable to walk or talk, even hold her head up. She has to work very hard to learn to do all the things that you just take for granted. Mm. And I think that you should talk to her. You two could learn a lot from each other. She looks funny. Well, that's because you don't know her. Has that happened to you, being judged before anyone knew who you were? Yeah, I guess so. Well, are you going to do the same thing to her? Are you sure this kid you picked, this gangbanger, isn't going to hurt my Kelly? You believe me, he would not be here if we didn't think he could handle it. Now, Jason, he's been under some trouble, but he's never hurt anybody. Not yet. <laughs> oh, come on, Jason. At least say hello to her. Hey. I know you can do better than that. I said hey. Kelly, little one, your new friend Jason said hey. <laughs> they take the kids out on playground Thursday after lunch. We can lag behind them and get it on. Man, you tripping. Man, you scared, ain't you? And you scared of me. I saw you at school, scared that little girl. Yo, fool, I ain't scared of nothing. Like, I'm gonna kick your butt, but we're gonna set it up right. Because I ain't getting busted, busted on me. And we'll give it a couple weeks till they get used to us following the routine. And we'll get it off on Thursday. Yeah, I'm on. Yo, you see them kids? They look like my mama's old beanbag furniture. <laughs> how about those teachers? Did you see how they were staring at us? Something ain't right. Probably some secret government experiment. Shut up. Hope you don't catch what they got. Yo, I ain't catching nothing because I ain't getting that close. Man, you scared. I can tell. Man, you ain't gonna last, man. Yo, I'll be cool. You're the one that should be worried. Man, I'm too hard. Man, I'm gonna be the poster boy for that program. I'm gonna get my beanbag rolling so fast, they're gonna think he's rolling in a Dodge Viper. Nah, man, that's nothing compared to a Porsche Turbo. Man, you wrong, man. What you get your info? Man, that's all I read about is cars. I bet you my beanbag's Porsche can whoop your beanbag's Viper, hands down. Yeah, pack of cigarettes. All right, bet, fool, let's get them rolling. Uh, come on, okay. That's fat. She's trying to get your attention, Jason. I think she likes the picture of that Ferrari almost as much as you do. Right. Stop ignoring her. She can teach you as much as you can teach her.
Okay, Kelly, you like the safari so much? I'll take you for a little ride. What do you think you're doing? What? I didn't hurt her. This is not a game, Jason. Can I go to the bathroom? Come on, two minutes. Are you thinking of running away? You can't come here. This is a men's room. You'd be surprised where my work takes me. Yeah, well, um, my work is over, so why don't you just send me home? Home? Back to Judy. Oh. So that's your home now? And how many homes do you plan to be locked up in? If you go home, Jason, things won't be any different. But if you stay here and do something that takes real effort and commitment, if you take the risk and allow someone to trust you, you'll find that your life has changed completely. Or is that what you're afraid of? Well, look, I, I can't help her. She's too messed up. But that's what people say about you, that you're a waste of time, that you'll never learn. You were the right. All right, me and her, we just alike. So won't you just quit wasting your time? That's why you were meant for each other. Go back in there. Talk to her like a person. Jason, two minutes. Come on, Kelly, look at me. Hey, Kelly, if I hung my head down, you couldn't see how ugly I was. <clears throat> Did you laugh? You're laughing. You're laughing. Oh, you're laughing. <laughs> what are you doing? She's only coughing. She's not coughing. She's choking. He stinks. He's been smoking. Jason, is this true? What do you blame me for? I turned down to her. You know that smoking is prohibited. These are children with disabilities. You have to be responsible. You listen to me. You use your head or you don't come back. I told you he was dangerous. I don't care what you do to punish him, but just keep him away from Kelly. She looks like a very oh, nice girl. Dad. Friendly, thoughtful. I bet she's always doing things for others. A girl, any family would throw open their arms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I can take my bag back now. Isn't that Margie's daughter? No, she looks like a nice girl. Consider it always a kind word for everyone. Thank when you're nice on the inside, it shows on the outside. Hallmark Gold Crown, the perfect place to shop for Mother's Day. KFC, we took buffalo wings and got rid of the wings. Introducing new spicy buffalo crispy strips. Boneless all-white meat chicken marinated in buffalo spices. And to really make them fly, this buffalo crispy strips meal is just $2.99. We take different steps. We have our own rules. Babe, we break our own rules. We have different tastes. We sing our own songs. We keep different secrets. Some of us like things sweet. Do maybe different. Do maybe different. We may be different, but we're all, we different. Different, but we're all equal. Touched by an angel will continue. A mother's dying wish... You are a very determined woman. ...is to see her son marry... I persevere when I know I'm right. John Stamos... I'm not ready to commit. Olympia Dukakis... I don't want to leave him alone in the world. ...and Della Reese... There's a point to hold tight, and there's a point to let go. A mother's last act of love, a match made in heaven, CBS Next.
The trauma they never expected. This kid was hit by a baseball? You're gonna save Nick, all right? Well, somebody get my daughter out of here! On the Chicago Hope, you'll never forget. CBS Monday. What if there were a magic potion that made you feel a little more alive and a little more relaxed? That helped you take on the world or leave it all behind? And what if it came in a convenient little package? Lipton Iced Tea Brew. With each leaf specially selected for iced tea, it may be the only drink that can pick you up, yet somehow calm you down. Feel the magic of Lipton. It's everything tea should be. People find out they have cancer, and they think, I'm gonna die. What I tell our patients is, we're here to help you live. Being right here in Greenville is special to patients. At Delta Regional, we can give them treatment close to home, close to the people they love. It surprises people, the technology we have. We are a true cancer center, which simply means we provide care equal to that of our nation's largest hospitals. Delta Regional Cancer Center, helping people live with cancer. People can be cancer. We help them do it every day. Hello, I'm Terry Graham. You're watching XBT TV 15, the number one news station in the Greenville, Cleveland, and Indianola trade area. What is Jason doing here? Real work. Jason. Jason. We're waiting on you. I'm out. What do you mean you're out? Look, I messed up. Dude screamed at me. He did not scream. As I understand it, he gave you a choice. You made a big mistake, Jason, but people make mistakes every day. That doesn't mean you don't get another chance. Wait, I get another chance? If you're able to accept the responsibility of your actions, yes. And I would recommend that you listen to Andrew and use your brain. You have a good one, you know. Oh, baby. Nobody said that to you before. Well, you do. God gave you a very good mind, Jason. Now, do you want to use it to help Kelly, or you want to haul garbage all day? Get on that bus. You're making us late. We are not giving up on him yet. You will. Oh. <laughs> Joe Beth. Joe Beth. See, that's my name. Joe Beth. Joe Beth. Yeah, yeah. What's he doing here? He came to work. Well, then assign him to somebody else. You saw what he did yesterday. Nita, you were so busy keeping an eye on Jason. You weren't watching what was going on with Kelly. What? If we smoke, you better break out them smokes, because that's the pack you owe me. I'm on a winning streak. I got a pack of smokes, and it's thirsty. Don't forget, we got a day for me to kick your butt for real. OK, everybody, let's start taking the kids out to the playground. You know something, Jason? You are very good at this. You should think about going to college, you know, getting a degree, doing this full time for a living. It's funny, I never figured I'd live that long. You know, your world has taught you to live your life to die. But you are very, very far from that place now. Maybe it's time for you to start living your life to live. Let's get these kids outside, give them a little fresh air. Close the door. No, I'm not into it anymore. Then run home to your monkey mama. Are you guys going to join us here? What's going on? Hey, girl. <laughs> I thought you were hard, man. Your mama's boy. Boy, soft. Can't even stand up for himself. Oh, man, be careful. You might start to cry. <laughs> hey, Ray, saw you won that race, man. That trike, your beanbag is smooth. 
I want to get me one. Yeah, beanbag was straight rolling. What happened to your beanbag, punk? She went soft just like you did. Yo, don't call her that, man. What, beanbag? Yeah, the people. Man, listen to you. Man, you've been here too long, man. You're losing it. You sound like a Sunday school teacher talking about their people. Yeah, man, you're weak. You can't let nobody get to you like that. I think I've found permanent funding for this program. No kidding. I went down to the mayor's office in person. He's very good coffee for someone who works for the city. Anyway, I showed him Jason's case file. He, he was impressed, and he wants to come down here and see the program in action. <sighs> Where is Jason? He went to the bathroom about five minutes ago. Jay! Jason. Sweetheart, Jason won't be here today. Would you let me help you? Kelly? New Montana from Pontiac. It's the only minivan with seating for eight. Life is more exciting in Montana. Pick you boys up same time tomorrow. Introducing new Hellman salad dressing. Tom, I love you, but it's over. Here goes. Tom, I love you, but. Mm. 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 I know. I could taste it in this homemade dressing. No, no, no. I didn't mm. make it. Hellman's made the dressing. Now I know how much you care. You do? I don't. You've really fallen hard, huh? Hellman's made it. Mm. Now Hellman's makes ten delicious dressings, four fat-free, with the fresh taste of homemade. This is love. No, this is Hellman's. New Hellman's, the freshest tasting salad dressing you never made. <sighs> Painful dry skin itch. That's my problem. And working with a dermatologist, I see lots of it. The doctor says hydrocortisone doesn't stop pain. But I found Lanocaine does, and it works better than hydrocortisone on itching. Clinical testing on itch nerves shows the direct action of Lanocaine relieves itching faster, keeps working better than any hydrocortisone. And it's better than gold bond cream, too. And the relief lasts. Lanocaine stops dry skin itch, stops every itch. Nicole's. Creative, intuitive, mystical, magical. Nokomis, the fragrance that speaks to a woman's soul. You know, a fix in the plumbing happens to be your gray area. Turn to the folks in the red vest. They'll get you everything you need to get things back into flow. That's what makes Ace the place with the helpful hardware folks. Monday, Patty LaBelle wants Ruth in the show. Five, six, seven, eight, and six, Cosby is going to show her how it's done. And then you do the split. It's an all-new Cosby. <laughs> then, Murphy's back in a new time. And will a billionaire buy her love? This is crazy. Are those all thousands? It's an all-new CBS Superstar Monday. It's good to have lots of choices about where you eat, but it's even better to make sure where you eat has lots of choices, like Shoney's, where you can enjoy pasta your way. Choose any pasta and sauce for only $5.99. Add shrimp or chicken for just a little more. 
dinner comes with Shoney's unlimited salad bar, too. So forget dinner their way, have dinner your way oh. at Shoney's. Mm -mm. Let's eat. Mondays and Tuesdays, enjoy all you care to eat shrimp for just $6.99. Are you ready for some painting? Greenville Paint and Glass is ready to help. We've got brushes, rollers, pans, everything you need for either professional jobs or the do-it-yourself and save some money homeowner. And of course, we stock the best in Benjamin Moore and DeVoe paints in all colors and styles, mixed to your own specifications. Whatever you need to brighten up your home or business, we've got it ready for you at Greenville Paint and Glass, corner of Main and Harvey, downtown Greenville. Are you ready for some painting? Come see us today. Hello, I'm Amy Waddell. You're watching XBT TV 15, the number one news station in the Greenville, Cleveland, and Indianola trade area. Get out of here, Estes. Even if Estes was telling the truth, your boy still ran away. What do you think you're doing? Jason didn't run away because the program was a failure. He ran away because it was a success. Gee. If it gets any more successful, maybe they'll all go over the wall and I can retire. Jason ran off because he started to feel something again. He lifted up his head and he saw something he's never seen before. Somebody who really needed him. He saw love looking back at him and he thought he was going to lose it. Now let me tell you something, Mr. Waters. The only way you get that kind of feeling is by giving it. Now, you do whatever it is you got to do, but it won't be the police bringing that boy back. Love will. Hello, Mrs. DeLee. Who is it? Uh, this is Monica from Juvenile Services. Hello. I've uh, come to talk to you about Jason. Nobody ever comes to the door. They always call us in a letter. Coming to the door, I guess that means he's dead. Oh, no, no, he's not. I was just looking for him. He left the camp. Oh, he ran away? Yes, this morning. Uh, and I wanted to find him before somebody else does. What make you think he came here? Well, this is his home. It's just his address. Look, lady, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But the truth is, maybe Jason ran away this morning, but he left a long time ago. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? If you find him, call me. Maybe I'll bring him some more of those car magazines. That's all he wants for me anymore. No, it's not. He wants more than that. He wants all the love you ever tried to give him. And when he comes back, and he will come back, I think you'll find that he's finally ready to accept it. Good baby. Good baby. Sweet baby. Good baby. Hello, Kelly. I don't know how much longer I can keep Waters from reporting him. I know. I, I know. All the way back here, I kept praying that I'd walk in, turn around, and he'd be here, but... You didn't really think this through, did you? 
I know you love this car, but what are you going to do? Drive it through the door? I thought you would have learned by now that to reach a goal, you have to work for it. You know, I got tired of working. Did you get tired of Kelly, too? Yeah, she was getting on my nerves. She had to get used to me being gone anyway. She'll learn not to get attached to nothing or nobody. I see. And that is a good thing. Yep. No attachments, no commitments, no responsibilities. All that makes you free. <sighs> Pedal to the metal, baby. I'm out of here. Out of here and going where? <sighs> Doesn't matter. As far as I can until he catches up to me or I die. And when will that be? <sighs> A couple years, I bet. Look, most of my friends are already dead. So I think it's a relief. Because something tells me I'm just not made to live in this world. Well, whatever that something is, don't listen to it, Jason. It's a lie. For the truth is that God put you in this world to make it better. And you've done that. And God is so proud of you. I am an angel, Jason. God made me for a very special purpose, to travel between heaven and earth, between this world and eternity, to bring good news. And the good news is that God loves you. Well, I don't want him to love me. It's too late. I don't want anybody to love me. Why? Oh, man, we just get out of here and leave me alone. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay. I'll go, but you're not alone. God is here, and the fastest car in the world can't outrun him, and the toughest heart in the world can't ignore him, because wherever you go, Jason, God will be there ahead of you, waiting for you, with a miracle. <laughs> People like me don't get miracles. You already have one. Her name is Kelly. What's a girl doing? Not too good, baby. He was working here. Yes, every day. He was working with a very special child, and she was making great progress with him. He's your son, Jason? Yes, he is. Do you know what your son did? He let my little girl down so hard, I don't know if she'll ever be able to get back up. Your son is everything wrong with this world. He's irresponsible, he's dishonest, he doesn't care, and you know what? It comes from parents who don't care, who are irresponsible. I am his parent. Just me. I don't have a husband. I don't have an education. I don't have money. But as God is my witness, I love him, and I did my best. I prayed to God for a miracle that my boy would change. Maybe the miracle is that he got arrested. Because if he found a little love here and some meaning in his life, then maybe my prayers were answered. I'm sorry. I understand hard times. I do. And I'm sorry to be so hateful. I'm just... 
I'm just so worried about my child. So am I. Jason. Hey, Kelly. Jason. You came back. You know, I've been thinking. Thinking hard. Maybe he was lost, but now he's found. All my life, I just want to get into a car and go. I went around and around with those keys in my hand for now. And I realized I can have any car that I wanted. I thought if I can get into one of them and start driving. The only place I would go was here. I missed her. And once I started missing her, I started missing you. Then I started missing people I don't even know, like my daddy. It's funny. You think that'd be the strangest feeling in the world? It wasn't. It wasn't at all. That's because you weren't alone. Sometimes holding out a hand to a stranger can be the hardest thing in the world to do. But once you've done it, you're not holding the hand of a stranger anymore. Being a volunteer isn't someone else's responsibility. It's your privilege and mine. It's our right as citizens and neighbors. The goals of this week's Summit on Community Service are goals every one of you can help America realize. So let us pledge together that by the year 2000, American volunteers will provide two million young people at risk with five basic needs, a healthy start in life, an ongoing relationship with a caring mentor, a safe place to learn and grow, a quality education, and an opportunity for them to give something back through community service. These are reasonable goals, these are reachable goals, and anyone who has ever volunteered will tell you what a rewarding experience it was for them. This is our country, these are our children. Share yourself, share the best of yourself with them. What can you do? In your own community, get with your company, your school, your church, your synagogue, your club, or any organization you belong to. Pool your time, your talents, your treasure, but above all, pool your love. So come on, let's take care of our youth. Let's preserve the best of what we have and protect the best of what is to come. This is America's past. This is America's promise. Thank you, and good night. For more information, call the number on your screen.
Mama's fresh churn butter was the richest, creamiest thing I'd tasted until this churn style. Ever since they made it taste richer and creamier, it's more like Grandma's. Mm. Country Crock Churn Style. Tastes richer and creamier than ever. No matter where people buy and sell homes, we'll be there. Coldwell Banker Real Estate. Our 90 years of experience goes a long way. Call 1-88-574-SOLD for your Coldwell Banker office. Making real estate real easy. I hate your guts. I hate you more. When Sybil crosses her co-star. It's not in the script. Can she save face? Can I get some garlic bread? All new Sybil. Then can Mike handle an impossible mission? I could slip in there, get the information I need, slip out like Tom Cruise. In Rain Man? All new Inc. After Sybil, CBS Superstar Monday. This week our guest on The Nanny is my very good friend, Beth Midler. Coffee! Coming, Miss Midler. The Divine Miss Elm on an all new Nanny, CBS Wednesday. Next, untouched by an angel. Mr. Atwater has served his time. Rapists don't reform. They get out of prison and they rape again and again and again. I got the Lord in my heart. We spend so much time talking about God. When's the last time you talked to God? We well, hope you can change the terrible thing that is happening now. Olympia Dukakis, John Stamos, and Della Reese. A match made in heaven. CBS Next. If your best friend told you a secret... I'll protect you, I swear. ...that could bring down a senator... Your tape is a fake. I'm innocent of any charges. Would you tell the truth? I'm not naming my source. Or risk the consequences? How do you find out about I'm a reporter. It's my job to find things out. Jane Seymour, William Devane. You'll be shocked by the absolute truth. CBS Wednesday. Tonight on the CBS Heavenly Sunday movie. At 35, Tom Rossner still hasn't found a girl to bring home to mother. Mom, you know I only go for brainless babes who just want to have fun. Whose child are you? The devil. So, mother is bringing one home to him. You should be selling used cars. Whether he likes it... It was the worst social experience since the dawn of man. Or not. Far be it for me to meddle. So I do not need my mother to leave my life. Well, don't look at me like I shot the dog. Olympia Dukakis, John Stamos, and Touched by an Angel's Della Reese. A match made in heaven. CBS Next. Practically everything. Older women running around trying to look like teenagers. I mean, who do they think they're kidding? Absolutely no one. So, how old do I look? You want the truth? Of course not. You look like a teenager. Good. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, how come I got so old that my youngest son is getting married? You were a child bride. Or maybe Gordon is a child groom. Why am I talking like this? It's my son's wedding. One of your sons. What are we going to do about Tommy? Look at this. What? Hey, Tom, can I ask you something? Hmm. Why, why, why do I look like multiple chin Charlie bursting out of a rental <laughs> tux? And you look what like a GQ model. Chin why is Charlie? That? You're retaining a little water. Oh, you look funny. Me. You look like uh, you look like Al Pacino in Godfather Part Two. Really? Yeah. Al Pacino. Feels like I have more of a Danny DeVito thing going on here. Look at this. You bring the spray that thickens up the hair. The thing from the infomercial. Hey, shut up. Boy, am I nervous. Turn around. You should be. You're about to enter on a sacred and profoundly meaningful period of your life. What would you know about it? Gordy, don't start with me. I'm not starting anything. It's a continuation. I'm going to say the same thing I've been saying for the last six years. I think it's time you grew up. Well, I have grown up. Yeah, but really, by whose standards? By a lot of people's. I have my own apartment. I'm a partner at the law firm. My car's almost paid for. It, that has nothing to do with it. It's not what I'm talking about. You know, because of you, I was convinced I'd never get married. 
What are you talking about? You're the older brother. You do everything first. You're supposed to. You were the first to ride a two-wheeler. You were the first one to say the Boy Scout pledge. First one to lose his virginity. Oh, and you, you, you graduated college while I was still in high school. And your point is, what are, My what are you talking about? My point is that never once since I've known you have you ever had a meaningful relationship with someone of the opposite sex. I have so. Have not? I have too. Have... Okay, fine. Stun me. Give me one name. Janice Pagorny. Janice Pagorny. <laughs> It was in seventh grade. It was meaningful, it counts. Yeah, but it wasn't sexual. Was it? No. No. <laughs> no, but but I have had sexual relationships. Don't want to hear about your conquest stories. Thank you. I'm um, happy birthday right, look, to look, me. Look, 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 look. Look, it's uh, in approximately 22 minutes, you're about to get married. I think maybe you should think about putting your pants on. <laughs> You should relax about Tom. He can take care of himself. He's a mature man. He's an adult male. That has nothing to do with maturity. Most men his age have settled down. They have a couple of kids. He hasn't been with the same woman for three consecutive seasons. Except for Tiffany Needleman. Mm. Well, he doesn't sit alone at home on Saturday night either. He likes to play the field. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, <laughs> That's fine, until you're mid-30s, but then it's a little forced. You know how some guys do it. Oh, oh would you? Yeah. Oh, has Tom got a date for the wedding? Of course he has a date for the wedding. He probably had one before, and he will have one after. I'm telling you, that boy's a sex magnet. It runs in the family. <laughs> Helen, how are you? Oh, well, congratulations. Oh, thank you, dear. How's Tom? He'll be here. You can see for yourself. She could have been my daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. Helen, you look wonderful. So do you. Thank you. Where's Tom? He's upstairs. He'll be down in a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she could have been my daughter-in-law. <laughs> Helen, congratulations. Oh, uh, one down, one to go. <laughs> He's upstairs. He'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. I know that could have been your granddaughter. Helen, you look wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you, Bruce. He could have been your son-in-law. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Oh, darling. Oh, that was my other favorite girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see your girls. Oh, uh, gorgeous. Just a minute, gorgeous. a smudge. All right, okay. Smudge. Hold on a second. I want you guys to meet my date. Hold on. Gina, come over and say hi to my family. This is my mom. Hold on. And Katie. Katie, charmed. <laughs> Your mother, Helen, Tom has told me so much about you. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> mother. Kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Tina. And uh, Gina. Gina. I love your dress. It's so small. Well, Tommy, they're playing our song. Oh, <laughs> no, Mom, it's not what you think. Oh. Oh, no, no, not Tom and me. My husband, Carl, and I picked the same tune for our wedding. <laughs> Your husband, Carl, he's deceased. Hmm? No, he's at home watching the Dodgers game. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Happy wedding day. Yeah, Happy congratulations. Day. Thank you. <laughs> And do you, Elise, take Gordon as your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forth? I do. And do you, Gordon, take Elise as your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward? I do. May I have the ring? This ring is the symbol of eternity. There is no beginning. There is no end. Gordon, will you take the ring and place it on Elise's finger? And now, by the power vested in me, by the state of California, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> I 
want the house, I want the car, I want the kids. But, honey, we agree that... Don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. Why? You used to like it. You see what I mean? Give her whatever she wants. I don't care. I just want it over with quickly. That's what sex was like with him, too. Only he never gave me what I wanted. It was always what he wanted. There are five or six women who gave me exactly what I wanted. I just can't take it anymore. Her sanctimoniousness, her, her self-righteousness, that, that, that holier-than-thou attitude. I cannot take it anymore. I can't handle it. this, my son a doctor that. If I hear those words out of Isabel Slotkin's mouth one more time, I swear I will leap across the table and tear out a voice box with my bare hands. Oh, and then, of course, there's my favorite, Lucy Klein. Oh, what a gal. Always was. Always will be. And what's a reward? Whose husband gets Alzheimer's, huh? And, of course, there's Betty Weston. She wears a diaper. I, mean, I know this because she never goes to the ladies' room. Never. She can play bridge for eight hours and, and not once get up from the table. Oh, Betty! I thought I would never get out of traffic. Can I use the ladies' room? Well, so much for your theory. Will you get rid of that damn thing? Oh, why should I? Two hearts. You know how slowly cancer metastasizes at my age? Metastasizes. Whatever. My house, my rules, to no Trump. You are such a hypocrite. You used to smoke two packs a day. <laughs> you used to be fun. Pass. I may have to have a cataract operation. Big deal. It's a rite of passage for anyone over 65. Three no Trump. Cataracts are nothing. I have to have a hip replacement. Pass. You think you got problems? Every time I go to the drugstore, the pharmacist looks at me and says the usual. <laughs> Pass. Thank God my son Kenny is a doctor. Now he's at the top of his field, and he's a very thoughtful person. Do you know that he calls me every day? Well, my son Tommy, when he visits, always brings me some little trinket. Gold bracelet. Really? Silver pin. Really? Earrings. You want to talk good? My son, Robert, takes me to dinner twice a week. Really? Mm -hmm. That's nothing. My Mitchell sees a psychoanalyst three times a week, and all he talks about is me. Slauson <laughs> tries to clear the zone. It stops and rise. Rebound. Shot on goal. It's go Bucks, cash on the line, if you can tell me one person on earth who has more graceful moves than Wayne Gretzky. Go ahead, I dare you. John Travolta? <laughs> Get out of it. No contest. Do you know how cute you are when you talk about sports, huh? No, tell me. Just like a little boy. Well, yeah, that's because I've been a fan since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So did your dad take you to the games? No, my mom. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Can you think of anything better than a cold beer, a hot pastrami sandwich, and a good hockey game? No. Well, I can think of one thing. Check, please. What are you doing? Straightening up a little. That's my job. Those old ladies can really make a mess. Well, see that you leave some of it for the morning. I don't want you deducting it from my salary. Again.
love you, Nathan. Not so good, Helen. I'm uh, having chemo. Mm, it's like getting hit in the head with a brick. Mm. It's awful when it's happening, but it feels so good when it's over. <laughs> How's that lovely wife of yours? Oh, Elaine's just fine. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. If anything happens to her, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Rossner? Present. You can come in now. You're new. Pardon? You're not the same as the one before. Oh, I'm Jane Cronin. Mrs. Master Simone got transferred to Columbia Presbyterian. Thank goodness, what a pill. Grim face, pompous. She was an oncology nurse. She wasn't doing brain surgery here, right? You think she took her job too seriously? Would you rather be treated by someone who didn't? I think Nurse Master Simone never took time to smell the flowers, which in the hospital is not a hard thing to do. <laughs> Oh, you have a sense of humor. I like that in a clinician. So it says here that you had a mastectomy five years ago. I was uh, told to get reconstruction, but my husband, he died three years ago. I'm sorry. Yes, well, my Nathan, beloved Nathan, said, why bother? One breast is plenty for both of us. So I settled for a specialized brassiere. Cost me a bundle, but... It Gives me a lovely line, don't you think? I mean, who would know, hmm? You could have fooled me. So, Mrs. Rosner. Helen. Helen. Have you been following the diet that we provide? Of course not. Well, at least you're honest. How about exercise? Every day I walk briskly to and from the garage. You with this tiny torso, I bet you watch every morsel that goes into your mouth. You have a lovely figure. Thank you. What are you, an Olympic swimmer, skier, something like that? Actually, I'm a couch potato and a chocoholic. I just happen to luck out in the gene department, I guess. Uh, well, don't guess. No. <laughs> so should we take some blood now? You're giving some too today, huh? <laughs> Wait a second. You have a little bit. Of a lipstick smear, just right, here, right there. Just let me get that. Okay. Well, Helen, everything looks very good here. Your pictures are absolutely clean. And I have the sexual drive of a 16-year-old boy. I just wanted to see if you were listening. I think we can send you on your way. Do you have any questions? Yes, I do. The new nurse, Jane Cronin, is she married or single? Did you throw your coat down in there as usual? Yes, but Then I... you just take your round self back in there and pick it up. I will, but I have something to tell you. I'm watching my story right now. This is important. Her stepfather is starting to hemorrhage. Very important. Well, the commercial will be on any second now. Tommy is getting married. What? He is going to marry a young woman named Jane Cronin. You're kidding me! Why didn't you tell me about it right away? Oh, congratulations. I'm so happy for you and for Tom. Oh, Katie, I'm so relieved. Well, give me all the details. What's she like? Have they set the date yet? Uh, not exactly. Not exactly? No. You see, there's one little problem they haven't met yet. Helen. But she is the one for him. I just know it. Love is touch, touch is love, love is feeling, to all the mothers, to all the grandmothers, feeling love, to the fathers who are also mothers, love is no way, to the mothers yet to be, happy Mother's Day from Johnson & Johnson. Here's an offer from Alpo no one can resist. 
instant savings on Disney's 101 Dalmatians. It's sure to be one of the hottest videos ever. Just buy specially marked Alpo and save up to $8 at checkout on the classic video with 101 of Disney's most adorable stars. So give your dog real beef in every bite. Then get instant savings on a great video. A great dog deserves Alpo. This is actually a family car, but that could be your little secret. Ford Taurus. I've got two full-time jobs. So many people count on you. I wouldn't change anything, I think. Somehow you manage to shine through. Worthington, exclusively at JCPenney, fits your life. With affordable clothes that go from morning meetings to 6 o'clock soccer, it works for working women. Worthington, now save 25% on all Worthington apparel during the Mother's Day sale. JCPenney, JC I love your style. Before Gina started thinking pink or blue, she was thinking orange. 100% pure Florida orange juice. Because the March of Dimes says the folic acid in orange juice may help reduce the risk of certain birth defects. Pure Florida orange juice. Are you drinking enough? This is what your house feels like on the new Coldwell Banker real estate website. It attracts lots of attention, so your home can be seen by thousands of buyers every day until it's sold. Online, on the phone, or in person. Coldwell Banker. Making real estate real easy. Monday, Patty LaBelle wants Ruth in the show. Five, six, seven, eight, and six, Cosby is going to show her how it's done. And then you do the split. <laughs> it's an all-new Cosby. <laughs> then, Murphy's back in a new time. And will a billionaire buy her love? This is crazy. Are those all thousands? It's an all-new CBS Superstar Monday. Dick Van Dyke framed for murder. These pictures make it look like I'm having an affair. Sex. Oh. Lies. I think I've been conned. And an all-new Diagnosis Murder. Then, on a special night, when these two met, it changed the world. She will drive me crazy. An unforgettable friendship made in heaven, touched by an angel. Thursday. Gerald McCraney stars in Promised Land, CBS Tuesday. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> Shouldn't I be asking you that? <laughs> well, I'm just dandy. Didn't get enough the last time, hmm? Well, it's just one of the tests came back a little vague, so I thought we should do a repeat. Good idea. Wouldn't want anything to happen. You know me. No, I don't. But I'd like to know you, that is. Jane. May I call you Jane? Of course. Lovely name, Jane. Jane, I have a son, Thomas. What's the matter? I said I had a son, not the bubonic play. Why did you go away? Mrs. Ross. Helen. Helen. I'm sure your son is a perfectly wonderful man. No, he is not perfect, but he is wonderful. I can assure you of that. It's just that I just came off of a very, well, pretty disappointing relationship, and I just don't think it would be a good idea. How long were you with this knave? Knave? I'm old-fashioned, okay. We lived together for five years, three months, and a day. Lived together. You asked. Don't judge. The short version is that I thought it would last forever, but it didn't turn out that way. He was unfaithful. That was the least of it. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as I was. Anyway, I just don't think that I'm ready to meet someone else. Not right away. Maybe not ever. Well, that's a little extreme. Maybe. But it's the way that I feel at the moment. So, how about a meeting? Cup of coffee. No pressure. No big deal. Just to say, hello. I'm flattered. I really am. But no thank you. Okay, okay. No coffee. I'll settle for your telephone number. A disembodied voice in the dark. You can hang up whenever you want. What harm can that do? You are a very determined woman, Mrs. Rosner. I'm alive. That's right. You most certainly are. So, what do you say? Seven little digits that could change your life. <laughs>
I've got a checkbook here. I can write a check for 75 bucks right here in the spot if you give me your telephone number. Going. Going once. Okay. So how are Gordon and Tom? Well, Gordy and Elisa tried to have a baby. You're still childless? So far. I suppose Tom is still playing the field. At his age. Girls, can we play cards here? Come in. Hey, girls. Oh, Tom. Hey. Oh. Your oh. must have been burning. Mm. Talking about oh, you. Handsome. <laughs> That's what you all the young boys came <laughs> on. It's a salami. Oh, what a lovely trinket. Uh -huh. well, one of my clients gave it to me, and I'm never home, so uh -huh. I figured you'd... Thank you, Tommy. Lunch and me, just what I always wanted. <laughs> uh, don't leave. I'll be with you in a sec. Oh, Princess Di is carrying Arnold Schwarzenegger's love, child. Katie, okay, you gotta stop reading those magazines. How's your love life, gorgeous? <laughs> Nothing compared to yours, I know that. <laughs> So, Thomas, you're going to be an uncle one of these days. How does that make you feel? Fine. Shouldn't it? Yes, of course, but uh, is that going to be enough for you? I mean, you want to be an uncle all your life? What about some children of your own? Have to share my toys? Forget about it. Well, that's true. You do have to stop being a child in order to be a good father. Father? I'm ready to be a husband yet. Well, you're a bright, attractive young man. Thank you, Katie. Why aren't you interested in finding a long-term live-in lady? Katie, every day I go to my office, and every day I listen to dissatisfied couples of every age, race, and socioeconomic stratum complain about their marriages. And every day someone manages to set some new record in passive aggression, abuse, neglect. Do I want that in my life? Do I need it? No, thank you. I gave it the office. Well, I guess I'm just selfish. I've raised you since you were in diapers. And I'd like to see your children while I still have my faculties. Couldn't wait until they left. Every week, it's a complaint-a-thon. The aches and pains Olympics. Are there no rewards for getting old? Over well, here, this is for you. What are you doing? You just finished lunch. I hid some smoked salmon. Why should they get it all? Hmm? This is a phone number. <laughs> Isn't he something? Of course it's a phone number, but it's not just any phone number. It belongs to an extraordinary person. Shit. Male or female? Female, very female. Mother, please. Thomas, why not? I cannot listen to this. Why do you have to start on this again? Well, as a matter of fact, we do. This is not just any girl. Smoke salmon, delicious. No, I don't have want a bite. No, 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 a bite, a bite, a bite. I don't want this. Take it back. Here. This Jane... She puts me in mind of Janice Pogorny, but a more fully developed. Janice Pogorny from the seventh grade? Yeah, her. She was the love of my life. Mm, but this one is a blonde and well past puberty, but not that far. And she has a body to die for. Really? Plus, she's a grown-up, a mature, responsible human being. Oh. When did that become a bad thing? Come on, Mom. You know I only go for brainless babes who just want to have fun. Whose child are you? The devil's. Look, this Jane is thoughtful, compassionate, intelligent, and a very shapely woman. Uh, according to you, Mom, they all are. Uh, and all I'm suggesting is that you pick up a phone and call her. Is that asking too much money? Is it? Is it? Huh? All right, where'd you meet her? At the hospital. She was my nurse. At the hospital? You want me to call with your nurse? Have you no sense of boundaries, Mother? Everything okay with you? Everything is fine, but just let me say that if you pick up the phone and call this young lady, it will add precious time to my life. You should be selling used cars. Hi, this is Jane. I'm not in. Please leave your message after the beep. Hi, Jane. This is uh, Tom Rosner, Helen Rosner's son. This is, uh, my mom bribed me with a $5 bill. Hi, to hi, hi. So, Don't uh, hang up. Don't hang up. Hi, it's Jane. Hi, it's Tom Rosner. Hi. Hi. Uh, Are you okay? No, 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 no. I, I'm fine. It's just that it, it's just the dog. So, uh, what are you wearing? What do you mean, what am I wearing? 
I just walked in. No, oh, it was a joke. It was, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like what guys say when they call really late at night. And, what yeah, it was lame. The oh, the bit about the five dollars, yeah, that was supposed to be a joke, too. That's supposed to be funny? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't funny, was it? <laughs> Listen, um, why don't I call you back and see if we can get this thing off onto the right foot? Should I do that? You, you don't have to do that. It's just, you see, I, I'm just not very good at, at this sort of thing. I, I, haven't, I haven't done this in a really long time. Well, I'm all, you know, thought it would be a good idea. Just... Yes, you could say your mother's very convincing. <laughs> yes, she's definitely overwhelming. Well, what do you say? Should we humor her? I'm willing to uh, give this thing a shot. If you are, I'll arrange everything. In fact, you know what? I'll even pay for everything. I know what that means. No, I wouldn't expect anything in return. Who have you been talking to? Uh, okay, then. We will get together on the one condition that <laughs> this is a self-sacrificing act of human compassion with absolutely no ulterior motive. And I will pay my own way. Tuesday? Tuesday at 7 o'clock. That would be great. Um, okay, so where do you live? I live at 613 Fountain Avenue, apartment 5D as in date. Right. Five days and date. I can't believe I just said that. Hello? Uh, hi, this is Tom. You, you want to just meet me downstairs? Okay, I'll be down in a minute. I'm not back at 11 o'clock. Will you please call the cops? Please. Tom? Hi. Hi. How are you? These are for you. Thank I just you. picked them for you and cut them and wrapped them up nice. I'm totally overdressed. No, you, no, you look beautiful. Well, I'll just go upstairs and No, no, you look... Up. Trust me, you'll blend right in. You look beautiful. Thank you. Actually, I think it's kind of violent. Really? Oh, no, I, I think it's a thing of beauty. You really think so? I know so. Fifty bucks says you can't name one person on earth with the grace and athleticism of Gretzky. Go ahead, I dare you. Barishnikov. Yeah. Can he pirouette on ice wearing 40 pounds of padding? Why would he want to? Oh. Well, you have to admit that hockey is the most demanding, most athletic sport there is. Ask anyone. I'll be sure to do that. Let's get out of here. Uh, Tom, you know, this has been really fun, but I have early rounds tomorrow. Oh, and, uh, it's 11 o'clock. You'll love this next place. I'll take it. Trust me. What I tell you, is this fun or what? Uh, actually, Tom, this has been really pleasant, but I have uh, early rounds tomorrow. I'll have you. I'll have you home by midnight. Trust me. Hey. Where have you been keeping yourself? You. Hi. I've been meaning to call you. I've been real busy. And... This is Jane. Cronin. Cronin. Hi. Tiffany Needleman. Nice to meet you. You look familiar. Do I know you? Not unless you haven't been feeling well lately. I'm an oncology clinician. Is that philosophy? <laughs> I'm a cancer nurse. Oh, awesome. Well, you. Don't be a stranger. Hey, are you with me or what? <laughs> nice gate. Tip is an old high school pal. Sure she is. She is. Tom, my feet are sore. I want to leave. Why? 
I'm wilting. What is it about women? Why do they expect us to be mind readers? No, lip readers. Read mine. I want to go home. But we can go someplace else. Home. Someplace quiet. Now. Why don't you just say something? Aren't you going to ask me in? What? Oh, I'd like to come in and visit for a few minutes. Why? Because I have some phone calls to return. Uh, no, because I find you attractive and I don't want the evening to end. And what about my feelings? Doesn't that count for anything? Oh, absolutely. I'm sorry. How do you feel? You want the truth? Yeah. I'd like to go to bed. Alone. This isn't a problem for me. But you have to admit, we did have a good time. Uh, don't thank me. Thank my mom. of time before this lost world is found. They're still alive. Discover the wonder. Wow. Isn't it great? Experience the adventure. Not making the same mistakes again. You're making all new ones. As Universal Pictures takes you to a world you've never seen before. A Steven Spielberg film. The Lost World. This film is not yet rated. It starts Friday, May 23rd. introduces a coffee crafted to be remarkably smooth. New Master Blend. A distinctly American blend. It's always good to the last drop. Rich French roast from Maxwell House. Irresistibly rich, it's the best of France made our own. It's always good to the last drop. Anybody out there? Anybody out there? Of course not. I'm Highway 50, the loneliest road in America. No sights. No shops, nothing but asphalt. The road is cold, and the 200 horsepower V6 ES300 will help you answer us. Oh, now, traffic jam. Grandma's fresh churn butter was the richest, creamiest thing I'd tasted until this churn style. Ever since they made it taste richer and creamier, it's more like Grandma's. Country Crock Churn Style. Tastes richer and creamier than ever. He's always brought me luck. White Diamonds, the intriguing fragrance from Elizabeth Taylor. White Diamonds for Mother's Day. A $113 value, just $45. The match made in heaven will continue. The trauma they never expected. This kid was hit by a baseball? We're gonna save Nick Hurry. Well, somebody get my daughter out of here! On the Chicago Hope, you'll never forget CBS Monday. You wanted it. You waited for it. You're always in the middle of some kind of drama. Wednesday, May 7th, CBS delivers it. You know, it's better to be with me than against me. Keep on dreaming, Blondie. Just the way you always loved it. What mischief are you up to now? The Knott's Landing reunion begins May 7th on CBS. Miss it, and you're gonna hate yourself. Will the hustle live forever? Do the hustle! As long as fast service and hot made-to-order food never go out of style, the hustle will live at Sonic. Right now at Sonic, our big bacon cheeseburger and tater tot special is just $2.49. So if you want it fresh and you want it fast, drive into Sonic, where the hustle still lives. Do the hustle! Hustle in and try Sonic's new peanut butter fudge sundae made with Peter Pan peanut butter. 
This is the popular Honda Civic. This is you. The question is how to get you into here with as little of this as possible. The answer is here. Because right now, you can own a Civic DX Coupe for $159 a month for 24 months and a $1,250 down payment. Just don't wait too long, because this only lasts till then. And after that, you will be out of this. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's it. You got it. You got it. The best workers on a job look out for themselves and their co-workers. But unfortunately, not everyone looks overhead when working near power lines. They don't look and they don't think. And sometimes they don't live to regret it. Use common sense on the job and don't monkey around power lines. Man will walk on the moon. Believe it when I see it. The Berlin Wall will come down. When pigs fly. One company can save you money on your cellular service, long distance, and home phone. What? It's Telepack from Cellular South. You can even add a second cellular number for just $5 a month. So, wherever you are. What eagle has landed? Whenever you feel like talking. Yes, sir. Flying. There's one thing you can believe. Cellular South. It's the way to go. Hello, I'm Stephen Robinson. You're watching XVT TV 15, the number one news station in the Greenville, Cleveland, and Indianola trade area. Huh? Hello. Tommy, what are you doing here? Well, I had some clients in Encino. The dentist who's having an affair with his hygienist. At least his teeth are clean. Got a minute? Yeah. Take a walk with me, hmm? Mm, working out at the gym, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. So what? So, how did it go with Jane Cronin? <laughs> great. I hate to admit it, but you were right. It was great. So you're going to see her again? Yeah. Jane is a very special person. Tell me. Well, for one thing, I uh, think she reacted positively towards me. She's a perceptive, discriminating person. What else? Well, she, uh, oh, I'd be modest. I, I think she's attracted to me. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh. Once I got her to relax, she had a good time. She's shy. She's a little shy, mm -hmm. you know. I think, I think she has problems expressing her feelings, you know. It was the worst social experience since the dawn of man. But Thomas said the date was... It wasn't a date. It was a sentence. I've had root canals that have been less painful. That's impossible. Forgive me for saying this, but your son has a singular blind spot. He is not aware of human life on this planet other than his own. Thomas loves women, and they love him. Mrs. Rosner. Helen. Helen. I am sure that you think that your son is the greatest gift to women since, well, Adam. But he's not for me. Is that final? I've never had more conviction about anything in my life. Okay. Far be it for me to meddle. Hmm. So how did it go with the doctor? Did he give you a clean bill of health? They found a little something in my blood. I could be a very sick woman. Who knows how long I have? Oh, Helen, don't say that from one little blood test. I'm realistic. I know what the odds are. Jane, could you do something for me? Anything. Go out with my son again. Give Thomas another chance. You can't mean this. For a sick, possibly terminally ill woman, what do you say? Oh. No, Tom, this is not Jane Cronin. This is the voice of Helen Rosner speaking through me. Actually, she could be standing here right now with a gun pointed at my head. She got the, uh, my mother has a force. Yes, your mother has a very powerful personality. She's shameless. Look, I, I don't really want to talk on the phone right now, so these are my conditions. I will take total charge of the day. I'm going to pick the time and the place. 5.30, Elysian Hall. Elysian Hall? Hey, 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 come on. A deal's a deal.
called out your name And in my dream you held me tight Funny how things seem so This was a flame Not the spot that somehow died And every warm embrace Was real as all those tears I've cried It's over for you And still my fun. <laughs> so did I. So, uh, how did it go with Jane Cronin? Congratulations, Mother. It's a new record. Seven full minutes before you asked. Well, uh, tell me, uh, did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time. Huh? Good. So you're going to call her again? No. You're not? No, I've been thinking about it. I'm, I'm not going to call her. Why? Mom, well, Jane is a very nice woman, but she's not looking for anyone. Anyone like me, that is. She's the kind of person who wants more than a good time, and I'm not ready to be the person she wants. But, Thomas... Don't that... let Thomas me. Look, I'm going out with a number of women right now that I like very much, and I don't want to give that up. How many? I don't know. Three, four, five, three. I'll just add Jane to the list. Mom, please. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I do not need my mother to leave my life. Well, don't look at me like I shot the dog. He said it. I didn't. Hey, fun boy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you look like hell. Yes, but I feel great. Guess what? Hmm. Lisa's pregnant. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, man. Congratulations. I am so excited. I haven't been able to eat or sleep. I was up all night. I'm telling you, I have not been this excited since the Cub Scout swearing in ceremony. I remember. That was a very big day for you. Yes, it was. Yes, you were. Oh, this is a lot of food. I am eating for two now. So, you have any uh, sexual tales you could tell an old merry man kind of a... Uh, let me live vicariously through them, something? No. Mom said you, uh, ditched that babe she set you up with. First of all, Jane Cronin is not a babe. A very serious, three-dimensional individual. Well, say no more. She is out of here. And I didn't ditch her. I like her, I just... Well, I, I, I'm not ready to commit, you know? Yeah, you never will be, as long as Mom's around. What's that supposed to mean? Ever since Pop died, you've been, uh... Kind of like the man of the house, you know? Kind of like a surrogate husband. I mean, you're so busy taking care of her, you, you know the time to commit to somebody else. Well, this is nice. You've, you, you've wrapped me up in one neat little package here, haven't you? Yes. There's one little problem, one little flaw in your theory. What's that? People change. Huh. Normal people, maybe. Ooh, you know how to succeed in business. Life will be good to you. Ah, you missed! Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, Helen. You're all set. Be in room 306 on Wednesday by 8 a.m. 
No foods after 6 p.m. the night before. No liquids after midnight. I'm nervous. Don't be. It won't be at all painful, I promise. I really am nervous. I need your support. Come have a cup of coffee with me. Absolutely. I wanted to be a doctor, but my parents couldn't afford to send me to medical school, and I was just so afraid to apply for a scholarship because I was just so bad in math. Well, it's never too late. It is for me. And besides, I really enjoy doing what I'm doing. And I have a lot more human contact with the patients. Tommy! My car is in the body shop. Tommy came to drive me home. I'll just go to the ladies' room. Actually, I have to get back. I have patients. 45 seconds. I timed it. <laughs> I've been meaning to call you. Sure you have. I have. It's a very nice jacket. It's very, very intimidating. Thanks. I think. So how's my mom? Well, we'll know a lot better next week, but you shouldn't worry about anything until you have to. If you have to. Can you do that? No. No, I'll worry anyway. See, I love her a whole lot. I can understand that. I just want to say that from across the patio, you make a wonderful couple. So there. Have you met my mother, Helen? He likes her, but he won't call her, and I can't make him budge. Helen Rosner, I'm disappointed in you. You remember when Thomas was a little bitty thing and he refused to eat his pea soup? Well, you just took the bowl and put it over in front of Gordy. Thomas snatched that bowl and that soup was gone faster than snow in July. I'm just my, telling my, you that you My nutritionist wants to know what I can eat here. He can't eat that much roast beef. What are you weighing on now, Gordy? About 204? 345. I love your crystal. Oh, no, that's glassware. This is crystal. Sometimes I am so dumb. No, no, it's only us superficial girls know the difference. Thomas. Uh, more potato? Hmm? I uh, called Dr. Eddingham's office this afternoon. I talked to Jane. I asked her what she thought of you. You didn't. She said uh, she thought that you were a very nice person, but that you're not her type. She said she's been going with someone, and she thinks that it's getting serious. So I guess you better forget about it. I... Really? Mm-hmm. Excuse me, Mom. Hey, Mom, where's the butter? Mm -hmm. Is it really such a mystery? Where do you think the butter is? <laughs> In the refrigerator? That's right. So did your legs break? Whoa. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Saturday night? Okay, good. I'll pick you up at your place. I dress formal because this is going to be a top of the line, state of the art date, all right? Okay, bye. Is butter in the tub the same as real butter? That was Jane Cronin. I'm going to see her this weekend. Really? Thought you weren't interested. Changed my mind. Sorry, I tried to reach you at the office. I have 103 fever. Here we go. Making sure anything else? Some aspirin or some ice cream or something? What is it? Are you in pain? I'm a nurse, Tom. <laughs> no one ever looks after me.
pleased to be that only someone like me could afford fine outdoor furnishings like these. Now, thanks to Target, every Johnny come lately can own this or this or even something magnificent as this. Can you imagine just pop into the minivan or whatever and off they go to their backyard? Whatever happened to the upper crust? Brita water filtration pitcher reduces lead and chlorine. Brita makes tap water wonderful. Incredibly match-like, the dependable one-match charcoal from Kingsford is ready to cook on in just 15 minutes. So, the sooner you get match-like, the sooner you eat. The 97 Mazda 626LX Sport Sedan. Lease for $219. Add an automatic and the lease goes to. Add power everything and the lease cruises to. Add air and a sweet sound system and the lease rolls to. Add the best basic warranty in its class and you get the idea. Lease or buy $17,595. Ends April 30th. You've heard about Claritin. Now ask your doctor about Claritin D 24 Hour. A clear choice. Claritin D 24 Hour, a prescription medicine. It's time to ask your doctor. Call 1 800 Claritin today for a $5 coupon and free information. Introducing Glade Candle Sense Refill. Oh, home the glow. Lift my spirits, take it slow. In your favorite Glade Candle Sense. Light up candle sense for Glade. Fresh from Glade. A match made in heaven will continue. Monday, look who's getting down with Patty LaBelle. All new Cosby. Then, can a billionaire buy Murphy's Love? This is crazy. Are those all thousands? And when Sybil crosses her co-star. It's not in the script. Can she save face? Can I get some garlic bread? And how will Mike handle an impossible mission? I could slip in there, get the information I need, slip out like Tom Cruise. <laughs> In Rain Man? Ain't part of an all-new CBS Superstar Monday. We're taking the wraps off something new at Wendy's. Fresh Stuffed Pitas. They're everything you love wrapped into one big soft pita. Like our Garden Ranch Chicken, overflowing with crispy vegetables and tender chunks of chicken breast. Or our delicious Chicken Caesar with shredded Parmesan. We even have two veggie pitas, our classic Greek with feta cheese and garden veggie. Wendy's four new fresh stuffed pitas, fresh like a salad, filling like a sandwich. Who knew something called a pita would taste this good? Good evening, everyone. I'm Amy Waddell. And I'm Terry Graham. Join us tonight after Nash Bridges. We'll have the latest on the sovereignty files and who and what will be exposed when they're open. Press will introduce you to a volunteer who's lacing up her shoes for the big Walk America event tomorrow. Keep the umbrella handy tonight and tomorrow. It looks like a wet weekend. And in sports, the state's been winning an exciting game in Florence. Stephen Robinson has a full report tonight at 10. All this and much more later tonight on News Center 15 at 10, right after Nash Bridges. We'll see you right here on XVT. The Delta. It's the place we call home. It's where we raise our families. It's where we work and invest our time. Here at News Center 15, we believe in the Delta and its people. We consider it a privilege to come into your homes each day. News Center 15 works hard every day to bring you the top stories and the stories that make us smile. News Center 15, working to make a difference for you. Hello, I'm Harry Johnston. You're watching XVT TV 15, the number one news station in the Greenville, Cleveland, and Indianola trade area. Why? Why do you want to get a divorce now? We wanted to wait until the kids were dead. Oh, Saul, you're such a kidder. Isn't she something? She makes me feel like I'm 78 again. Look at you two. You guys are madly in love. You kids are nutty about each other. You have a, a, a wonderful relationship, a, a wonderful long, long-term relationship. Why would you want that to end? Tell him, Ida. I want to play the field. Ida. Ida, you're a, you're a mature, extremely mature woman. 
Let me be frank with you. See, I date a lot. I heard. It's very cold, very cruel, very competitive out there. Do me a big favor. Stay with Saul. Give it another, uh, another decade. Then we'll all get back together and we'll talk and see how things are then, okay? Miss Cronin is here. Excuse me a second. Send her in, please. My date's here. Come on, Saul. Let's give it another 10 years. Atta <laughs> boy, Salve. He dates a lot. <laughs> I know. Hi. Hi. You look beautiful. Oh, here, come here. Thanks. Got a surprise for you. Wow. This is romantic. Well, you're dealing with a very romantic guy here. Oh, I forgot. Jazz? Neither did I till I met you. Shall we dance? <laughs> you like caviar? Yeah. Do you like sushi? No. Good, neither do I. How about dogs? To eat? No, as pets. Yeah, I like dogs. How about kids? As pets? Yeah. <laughs> no. As a commitment between two people. I love kids. something to tell you. What is it? Okay, everybody with a healthy mother, stand up. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, dear, I was uh, joking. I don't get it. Gordon, what is she talking about? I have no idea. I'm just trying to keep things light, but I guess I can't really. Um, I, I asked you all to come here today because I have some unpleasant news. I went to the hospital and had a CAT scan. Why didn't you tell us, Mother? I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want anyone to come with me because, frankly, I thought the news would be good. And it is not. The news is bad. The cancer is back. And, uh, and, uh, it's in my liver. Oh, my God, Helen. Well, that's the bad news. The good news is 
I'm still here. And I plan on being here for a long time to come. What exactly did the doctor say? I have to have chemo. I have nothing else to tell you except I'm not buying any green bananas and I do not intend to make any long-term investments. Now, who wants something to eat? Hmm? Well, I gotta get going. I have a client. Gordy. Black, hmm? Hey, 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 you Thomas Rosner. Where do you think you're going? You come back here. Don't you think you should go back to your mother? She needs you. I don't want her to see how sad this makes me, Katie. You bring your white ass back here, you'll have the devil to pay, and the devil is me. Katie, I can't. back to work today and I just found out about Helen and I've been calling your office but they said that you were out for the rest of the day. Would you call me when you get in? Tom, it's me again. Call when you get back, will you? I'm at the hospital. I'm on a two-minute break, and I was just calling to see how you were doing. Jane! person really lucked out with them. Is this a studio or a one bedroom? Two. Ooh, excellent. Where do you want to do it? Listen, I... Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, it wasn't. It's a great idea. Where's the little girl's room? Oh, Shauna, I've been, I've been rethinking this, and maybe you should go home. Go home? Do you know how much it costs me to get my hair done? I'm going to get something out of this night, whether you like it or not. And believe me, you like it. Is the bathroom in there? How are you 
feeling? Mm. I'm just gonna put these in water. I talked to your mom, and um, she said that you were there, but then you left early, and so then I called here. Tom, I looked at your mother's chart, and I just thought it would make you feel better if you knew, you know, her prognosis. You know, if you know all the facts. You're awfully quiet. You're taking this really hard. Uh, are you okay? Have you been drinking? Oh, a threesome. I don't think so. Jane, this is not what you think. Actually, you know, it's, it's worse than you think. Jane, listen. No, I don't have to listen to this. I'm really sorry about your mother, but I don't have to put up this kind of behavior. Jane, I'm sorry. That's not good enough. I don't need a pamper, an immature son of a bitch. Was that your wife? Too bad. She seemed nice. Listen, if it's okay with you, I'm not into this anymore. Big Mac. This is my dad, Jim Delagatti. This is my dad, Jim Delagatti. He created the world's greatest burger. Two all beef patties. There's cheese in there. Special sauce. Very special. Very secret. This is a my size meal. Right now, buy a drink and fries. Any drink, any fries, any size. And get a Big Mac for just 55 cents. 55 cents. To salute 1955, the year it all began. This is a very good idea. This won't be around forever. This sesame seed is bigger than my head. This is my McDonald's. So then Doris is driving it, and she says, but Elliot, I can't feel the road. And I said, but what do you expect? It's a luxury car. Anyway, we then drive us down the road. Have you taken your mind? Bored with traditional luxury? It could be time for the supercharged Bonneville, one of the world's most powerful sports sedans. Do you drive a luxury car, Frank? You bet your ass got I do. Luxury with attitude. The Bonneville by Pontiac. Snack wells, your creamy cookie, so chocolatey, your fat free cookie, devil's food, you taste so good. Hey, cookie man, just make the cookies, don't sing about them. <laughs> Snack wells, devil's food cookies. The coolest, the coolest. Woman, creative, intuitive, mystical, magical. Some colors you can only find in the country. Deep forest green, rich cranberry red, and these were the inspiration for the Country Colors Collection, crafted in America only by Ethan Allen. A surprisingly affordable way to bring a fresh look to your home, whether it's a farmhouse or a penthouse. Hurry in. Ethan Allen's spring sale is on now. All moms think their kids are great, but mine walked her first day. Right, Pumpkin? <laughs> She's independent. This still counts on me and our veterinarian to keep her healthy. He told me cats can get heartworm disease even if they live indoors, and it can be very serious. Then he said I can protect her with new heart guard for cats. Pumpkin likes to do her own thing, and I like knowing heart guard for cats is doing its thing, protecting her from heartworm disease. Ask your veterinarian about new heart guard for cats, caring for the health of your cat. Some waffles? Waffles? Are you crazy? I don't have time for waffles. You do if they're Eggo Cinnamon Toast waffles. Try them. Where's the butter and syrup? Are you crazy? You don't have time for butter and syrup. They're the first waffles with a baked-in sweet cinnamon mm. taste. So they're great, even without butter and syrup. What's eating, Dad? Waffles. Are, Are you crazy? crazy? You don't have time for waffles. Eggo Cinnamon Toast waffles. Hey, you've got time for waffles. When attorney Nick Donahue's wife is found dead, he must defend the prime suspect, his mother. I don't want you to testify. Judith Light, Rick Schroeder, Too Close to Home, Tuesday. The nanny meets Bette Midler. Hello, Miss Midler. I adore your accent. Oh, thanks. I owe it all to Queens. Same with me in my career. They're the dynamic divas of comedy. We're Jewish, we're running, and there's macarons over there. Are they fresh? All new nanny. Oh, yeah. Then it's an all new day's world. All new comedy, CBS Wednesday. 
a protege turns to his mentor. You were one heck of a competitor and one heck of a teacher. To stop a psychopath. Chuck Norris leads the Sons of Thunder, CBS next Sunday. All right, Sarah, you retain possession of the house, the car, and the jewelry that Marshall's given you over the years. Oh, Marshall has such divine taste in jewelry. Marshall, you'll take possession of the piano and the vacation home in Aspen. It's going to be so empty there without you and the kids. I... Oh, I know, I know. <sighs> Billy and Andrew will remain in custody of Sarah, but Marshall, you'll have them on the weekends and one month during the summer. One month? I can't believe we're breaking up the family like oh, this, I know. I, I feel so, so selfish. So, so self-involved. The remainder of the art and the furnishings in the apartment. Oh, well, I don't want the king-size bed. <laughs> Whenever I looked at it, I'd be overwhelmed by memories of you, Marsh. Sarah, are those memories the same that I have of you? Tell me that. Well, if you are talking about the warmth, if you're talking about the tenderness and the, dare I say it, passion, then yes, I think we are having the same memories of the same wonderful bed. Sarah, I worship the ground that you walk on. Marshy, I love you. Come back to me, Marsh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, so-so. Of course, it's better in the days when I don't have chemo, but then I don't get to see you. Well, that's a real approach avoidance conflict, isn't it? Tommy tells me that the two of you had a little falling out. You are amazing, Helen. Nothing stops you. Not human resistance, not an intravenous drip. I persevere when I know I'm right, and I am right about you, too. I think your intuition is way off this time. Hi, Mom. It's nice. Jane, look who's here. Hi, Jane. Sorry, I, I didn't know you were going to be here. I bet. He didn't. I asked him. This isn't fair. A coincidental meeting. Mother. I feel like I'm being ambushed here. Don't be silly, Jane. No, I feel like my professional and my personal life is being compromised, and it isn't right. You're overreacting. Well, maybe I am, but I just... I think it would be best... Helen, I feel bad about this, but I think that someone else should oversee your care. Jane, let me explain, please. me to admit you right away. Dr. Cates, may I speak to your mother, please? Sure. I'll be right back. What is it, medical or erotic? Can I get you anything? Yeah, another 20, 25 years. Do you want to tell me what you're thinking about? I feel so awful. It's not easy what you're going through. No, no, it's not the cancer. It's Tom. I don't want to leave him alone in the world. You're still here, and he's hardly alone. That's his concern, not yours. Your job is to get better. And when you've done that, then you can start interfering in his life again. Well, it won't be possible to do that anymore. Of course it is. It's your nature, Helen. Katie, I'm not getting better. And I don't want people to know how sick I am. I don't want them mooning around and draping grapes, so let's just downplay this whole thing, okay? How is she? Oh, she's amazing. Your mother is a regular Florence Nightingale. 
Honey, Florence Nightingale was a nurse. I think you mean Joan of Arc. Whatever. Gordy, can I talk to you a second? Mm. Oh, you two go ahead. I'll just go get the car. Bye, sweetie. Gordy, I don't know what to do. I can't imagine life without her. Tommy, Mom's gonna be fine. Okay? She's very strong. And she would hate it if she knew you were talking like this. You're right. So, uh, let's change the subject, okay? Let's, uh, talk about something else. Anything else. Well, actually, I could use your advice on something. Really? I love that. What? This friend of mine, and this is a purely hypothetical situation, he's involved with this woman. Are they sleeping together? That's not relevant. It's always relevant. Please. Will you please stay with me on this, all right? Okay. Now, this woman is... She's very real. She's very solid, uh, down-to-earth person. And the guy, on the other hand... Do I know this guy? The guy, on the other hand, he's crazy about her. I mean, he's really, really crazy about this girl, but he, he behaved pretty badly, and he kind of ruined things between them. See, it is you. What do I do to win Jane back? You are so lucky I'm your brother today, because I can help you with this. All right, you, uh... First of all, you send flowers. You buy candy, you know, with the three levels. You write her poetry with, uh, really bad rhymes. It won't matter, because it's, you know, the effort that counts. And no matter what you can actually deliver, you promise her anything. And she will come running back, I guarantee it. Katie, can I talk to you a second? Sure, baby. He behaved pretty badly, and he kind of, uh, kind of wrecked things between them. Now, this is, this is totally hypothetical. Mm -hmm. What should he do? Well, he should tell her the truth. He should say, I'm sorry, I was an ass, I love you, I want you back. Do you think that friend of yours can do that? Probably not. Mm-hmm. I've sure heard a lot about you. It's nice to meet you. So it's okay to hug? It doesn't compromise your professional ethics? Oh, talk about being unprofessional. I'm so sorry about that incident. I really wasn't in control of myself. Tom has that effect on people. He certainly does. Anyway, I'd be really grateful if we could just forget the whole thing. Well, the incident in the chemo room or the whole thing between you and Tom? The whole thing. All of it. Oh. I'd just like to be there to take care of you. As my nurse or my friend? I'd just like to be there any way I can. Is that okay? Well, that would be better than okay. That would be wonderful. Good. So, how are you feeling? Are you comfortable? I don't know what it's like to be without pain, but uh, who's complaining? Well, you can complain. We can do something about the pain. I'll be right back. This is exciting. This could work out very nicely. What are you talking about? Tom will be here any minute. She will be back with the medicine. This couldn't be better if I had worked it out myself. Helen, I want you to do me a favor. Anything. But out. I'm being helpful. Helpful? You're a roadblock. Tom has got to move past you and get on with his life. And you won't let him. There's a point to hold tight, and there's a point to let go. And you're way past that point. You remind me when Tom was little, and he made us take the training wheels off his bike. I had to force you to go in the house and let him ride. And I had to stand at the window and watch him fall down and get up and fall down and get up for 45 minutes. And his knees were bleeding. Helen, if you don't let them risk pain, they can't learn. Josh, this is 
fiddle at Old Vader's sign. I'm late. Oh, Here, I got this for you. Thank you. I have the flower concession on the third floor. Hi, I'm a real baby. money maker. You look radiant as always. Here, I need some water for these. a little sleepy, but the dream should be lovely. <laughs> oh. oh, emergency on seven. I'll be right back. There we go. So, can I get you anything? I'm well taken care of, thank you. I have a wonderful nurse. before I go? Oh, no, it's just wonderful. It's, there is one more thing. Hmm. Call Jane Cronin. Mother, this is bordering on psychotic. Listen, I saw her every day in the hospital. All my instincts tell me she wants to see you again. I got to go. Goodbye, sweetheart. I hope uh, you feel good. Call her. Then, then call me and report. I, I'm not going anywhere. What? What's the matter? You're doing it again. You can't leave him alone, can you? He's my son, isn't he? Why should I leave him alone? I know him longer and better than anyone on earth. I love him. You're suffocating that man with your love. You take care of him, you feed him, you make sure he's comfortable. He's 32 years old and he's still your little bitty baby boy. Katie Beale, you don't have any children. Don't tell me how to raise mine. You're a stubborn, bull-headed woman, Helen Rosner. And you're not listening to what I'm saying. I listen to you all the time. And all I ever hear is criticism, and I am sick and tired of it. Well, tell me this. Why should your son get serious about anybody else? He's got a wife already. That's it. I don't need this negativity. I don't need it. I don't want to hear it anymore. Ever. You're firing me? Interpret it any way you like. I'm Geraldine Taft, your home care nurse. Where's Kitty? Pardon? Katie Beale, who works for me? Miss Beale phoned the agency. She said you fired her. No! I I I didn't mean. Well, she requested a visiting nurse for you, and unfortunately. Ah, I no. ah. Today's show. Listening to our bodies. Ladies, my body's telling me. Uh, can you just listen to me? Your hair is staying nice and easy from Clairol with Healthy Shine Conditioner. Hi. It works with your hair's own tones and highlights. 110 and 117. Let's go, let's go. Look, the Healthy Shine Conditioner lets the natural looking color shine through. I don't know what her body's saying, but your hair is saying. Oh, yeah. It's nice and easy to be natural from Clairol. Introducing the rugged new Montana from Pontiac. It's the only minivan with seating for eight. Life is more exciting in Montana. Pick you boys up same time tomorrow.
people buy and sell homes, we'll be there. Coldwell Banker Real Estate. Our 90 years of experience goes a long way. Call 1-88-574-SOLD for your Coldwell Banker office. Making real estate real easy. If you can do this, you can make wood beautiful with Minwax. And if you can do this, you can give wood lasting protection. Turning a house into a beautiful home is as easy as turning to Minwax. So, Mom, what do you think of your first grandchild? The future president of the United States is adorable. The doctor says she's perfectly healthy. She must get that from me. Ensure is complete balanced nutrition to help you stay healthy, active, energetic. Have it as an occasional meal or snack. You know what? What, baby? I really hope I'll be as good a mom as you are. <laughs> Ensure, the number one doctor-recommended supplement. Drink to your health. A match made in heaven will continue. An accident took his wife. I can't even imagine that pain. Now, a bitter man is out of control. The real man isn't the one hiding behind the bottle. And out for revenge. Well, shoot him. You're going to have to shoot me first. Out of my way, boy. And only Gerald McRaney can prevent another tragedy. All new Promised Land, CBS Tuesday. What would you do if your best friend told you a secret? You're handing me the only weapon that could stop him. I have to remain anonymous. That could bring down a senator. Your tape is a fake. I'm completely innocent of any charges. I shouldn't have given you that tape. What if telling the truth... I expect you to pull off this story. I'm not naming my source. ...would destroy the one you love. How'd you find out about I'm a reporter. It's my job to find things out. Jane Seymour, William Devane. Prepare to be shocked by the absolute truth. CBS Wednesday. Will the hustle live forever? Do the hustle! As long as fast service and hot made-to-order food never go out of style, the hustle will live at Sonic. Right now at Sonic, our big bacon cheeseburger and tater tot special is just $2.49. So if you want it fresh and you want it fast, drive into Sonic, where the hustle still lives. Do the hustle! Hustle in and try Sonic's new peanut butter fudge sundae made with Peter Pan peanut butter. People find out they have cancer, and they think, I'm going to die. What I tell our patients is, we're here to help you live. Being right here in Greenville is special to patients. At Delta Regional, we can give them treatment close to home, close to the people they love. It surprises people, the technology we have. We are a true cancer center, which simply means we provide care equal to that of our nation's largest hospitals. Delta Regional Cancer Center, helping people live with cancer. People can be cancer. We help them do it every day. Last one out of Station by. At Texaco, you not only get Clean System 3 Power Plus and Power Premium, you can get a car wash, a soft drink, even lunch. Don't you guys know you could have paid at the pump? These kids today are so competitive. Last one done buys. Hello, I'm Terry Graham. You're watching XBT TV 15, the number one news station in the Greenville, Cleveland, and Indianola trade area. CBS. Welcome home. Dr. Once when the girl was about 12 years old. He had said to her, try and make a clever woman of her, Lavinia. I should like her to be a clever woman. But Mrs. Penman at this looked thoughtful a moment. My dear Austin, she then inquired, do you think it is better to be clever than to be good? More. From this assertion, Mrs. Penman saw no reason to dissent. She possibly reflected that her own great use in the world was owing to her aptitude for many things. Of course, I wish Catherine to be good, the doctor said the next day. But she won't be any the less virtuous for her. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? I'm been better. How's Mother? She's about the same. Well, why don't you two take a minute together and I'll just go upstairs and visit. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, 
You gonna see that Jane Cronin person again? No, and I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry. You know, we're in a hospital, she's a nurse. Must be hard going through this alone. Don't be smug, Cordy. I'm not, I mean it. Look, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes Elise drives me crazy. But, you know, when we go to sleep at night, and she's on the other side of the bed, sometimes I'll just feel, uh, you know, her foot on the back of my leg or, you know, her hand going through my hair. It makes me feel safe. And nobody ever talks about it, but it's the best part of the whole thing. I'd like that feeling. It'll happen. And my birthing support group has been really supportive. <laughs> Anywho, we considered natural childbirth for a while, but then I thought to myself, if God had wanted us to do this without drugs, he never would have invented the epidural. So we're going to do a combo, like a blend, like half natural, half Lamaze, and half drugs to the hilt. <laughs> right, honey? <laughs> Mom says she's tired. Oh. Why don't you guys go down and get a sandwich and all? I'll join you in a minute, okay? okay. Thanks. She was driving me crazy. <laughs> I, uh, I can't take care of you anymore. Oh, Mom, don't say that. Take care of yourself. Well, I think I can do this. Leave alone. It's not fair. I've, I've known them both. Well, Mom, I don't plan on being alone forever, okay? And if you're lucky to find love, grab hold of it and don't let it go. It doesn't happen that often. Because I want it to be perfect. Perfect? There's no perfection. There's adjustment, complaining, and silent suffering, and compromise. My darling. Perfection. Well, you and Dad had a perfect relationship. <laughs> we were, we were flawed deeply. But uh, he had a good, generous heart. If you are fortunate enough to stumble over that. Wrap your arms around. Keep it warm at night. Okay, Mom. I'm looking for Helen Rossner. Excuse me. Katie. Hi, it's nice Hi. to see you. I'll take you to her. Uh, tell me, Jane, do you know, is she still mad at me? She says she misses you all the time. And even though your leaving was her own damn fault, she still thinks she's right. That sounds like her. She's been waiting for you since she got here. Tell me, how is she doing? You want the truth? Or you want me to sugarcoat it? Did I die? 
Go to heaven. I miss you, Helen. I have to confess, it's hard to live without your nagging interference. You want to come back to work for me? Yes, I'd like that. Beg. Oh, I hurt. All over. It's all right. I'm here with you now, baby. Thank you for all you've done for my mother. I've watched you, you know, and I've, I've wanted to talk to you, but I just, you know, it's kind of feels weird, you know? Yeah, I, I know. It's been weird for me, too. I mean, I feel so much for Helen, and I know what she's going through. I, I wanted to call you so many times and talk to you. Really? Yeah. I know what you're going through, I really do. Jane. I acted like an ass last time at the apartment, and I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Do you think maybe we could get together sometime and have dinner or just, just talk or something? I don't think that would be a good idea. Call me at the hospital if you have any questions, okay? before drive. from Elizabeth Taylor. White diamonds for Mother's Day. A $113 value, just $45. Messy, sticky flea treatments have a nasty way of coming between you and your pet. Which is why, if you care about spending time with your dog, 
You shouldn't wait until you see fleas, but start him on program now. One safe program tablet once a month now will prevent you both from suffering the pangs of separation later. Program, because nothing should come between you and your pet, only from your veterinarian. This is new Kraft Light Deluxe Macaroni and Cheese, and it is exactly, underlined exactly, the way you crave, love, and desire macaroni and cheese, but with half the fat. So you take your fork and inhale it. Good move. Now's the time to get your lawn and garden ready, but if you don't exactly have a green thumb, just go to the folks in the Red Vest. They've got all the advice and products to get you started from the ground up. Because Ace is a place for the helpful hardware folks. Introducing Glade Candlesense Refill. Oh, warm the glow. Lift my spirits, take it slow. In your favorite Glade Candlesense. Light up Candlesense from Glade. Fresh from Glade. I hate your guts. I hate you more. When Sybil crosses her co-star. It's not in the script. Can she save face? Can I get some all new Sybil. Then can Mike handle an impossible mission? I could slip in there, get the information I need, slip out like Tom Cruise. In Rain Man? All new Inc. After Sybil, CBS Superstar Monday. CBS Monday. The trauma they never expected. This kid was hit by a baseball? Oh, my God. Nick. Mom. Get my daughter out of here now. The fallout they never imagined. Does anybody know the parents? On the Chicago Hope, you'll never forget. I know you're scared, honey. I know. All new CBS Monday. Here's some straight talk about guaranteed approval for your choice of credit cards, either Visa, MasterCard, or both, regardless of your credit history. You can apply for a credit card at other banks and hope you'll be approved. Or you can be guaranteed approval for the Arbor Card from Orchard Bank, simply by opening a savings account with as little as $200. If you are at least 18 years old, a U.S. citizen or permanent resident with a phone in your home and an income, your approval is guaranteed regardless of your credit history. In fact, your cards can be mailed to you within four days of receiving your application and savings deposit. Initially, your credit line will be equal to your savings balance. However, if you keep your account in good standing, the bank may routinely increase your credit limit with no additional savings deposit required. Use your Arbor MasterCard or Visa with confidence for cash advances, purchases, car rentals, and other purposes at millions of locations. At the same time, you'll be building a positive credit record for other types of credit in the future. Call now to receive an application. The call and application are both free. Call now. Well, if I had money, I'd tell you what I'd do. I'd go downtown, buy a Ford truck or two, and pray that I'd buy a Ford truck. Ford Explorer, the best-selling compact sport utility of America, with all the comfort and convenience you need. Plus, it's built Ford Cup. Now, lease it for only $2.99 a month. And check out Ford Ranger, America's best-selling compact pickup with $1,000 cash back. That's $1,000 cash back on the versatile Ford Ranger, only from your local Ford dealer. Hello, I'm Amy Waddell. You're watching XVT TV 15, the number one news station in the Greenville, Cleveland, and Indianola trade area. So sorry. Gordon, if there's anything you need, Gordon, call. If there's anything you need, Gordon, call. I'm sorry. We'll never find a horse like Helen. Come to my house for dinner. I'll make you chicken in a pot. I don't think I'll ever get over this. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming. It means a lot to me. I'm so sorry. I really loved Helen. We should get going, Janie. Come on. Sorry about your mom. Why is it that the good ones are always the first to go? She's gone. 
I can't believe she's gone. The last thing she said to me in the hospital was how sorry she was. How much she wanted to see her first grandchild. Gordy. I hate that you'll miss that. You know how they say that sometimes when when a loved one passes, you can feel their presence in the room? I have an interview. No. Sure would like to, though. God. Did you ever actually think that one day we wouldn't have parents? No. Makes me feel very young and very old all at the same time. We still love each other, right? But as usual, she had the last word. Do you believe your mama left me the house and all the furniture? She was a generous woman, Katie. She was. But to tell the truth, I think she did it to annoy the other homeowners. You know, a person of color moving in, and there goes the neighborhood. So I'm going to hold on to the house, because I'm sure that's what she wanted. <laughs> second mama. I want you to remember that. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. to follow her around. And he turned up nothing on me. Zero, zilch, zip, nada. Look, folks, we're trying to work out a settlement here. Can you please stop pointing fingers? I'm the one who should point. All those nights he said he was working late, he was visiting hookers! I was not! Who's that swim? Where do you get your store on this bill? Oh, hey, Rosa, where the hell do you think you're going? Now, you see what you did, so? The man is walking on Rosner? Right here. Fill this out, sign it, and bring it back. Thanks. Here, baby. Oh, thank you, Katie. I appreciate you coming down here. What's she doing here? I, I called her. I'm going to leave now. You're in good hands. I got here as fast as I could. What happened? I was attacked by an angry two-wheeler. Can you walk? Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah, no, my legs are fine. This is the only seat available. See? Are you okay? Do I look okay? <laughs> you sound just like your mother. The worst thing in the world? You just did it again. I miss your mom. So do I. She was crazy about you. Are and you... Are you sure you're okay? I gotta go. Take care. Jane. Jane, so am I. What? My mother was crazy about you, and so am I. Jane, she knew. She knew from the moment that she met you, and she told me. She said, you were the one for me, and she's right. You are. Tom, what kind of medication are you on? Aspirin. 
Okay, so it's not the drugs. Look, I think you've been under a tremendous amount of stress. And when things normalize, you're not going to feel this way. But I will. I know I will. You can't do this. You can't walk away from me. I, I'm a patient. You're a nurse. And I've been in a moderately terrible accident. As a trained medical professional, you're, you're obliged to do something for me. What? Give me another chance. Oh, Tom, we tried once. It didn't work. It's that other guy. Guy? What guy? That guy. The guy you were with at the funeral. We look very cozy together. Oh, him. Do you like him? Mm-hmm. You love him? Yes, very much. I want you to stop seeing him. I can't. He's my brother. I say this. Uh, Jane, I feel so much for you. Uh, this, uh, there's something I want to say to you. Look at me. Look how nervous I am. Jane, I'm in love with you. You say that to all the girls. No, I don't. No, I never said that before in my whole life. Except for Janice Pregorian in the seventh grade. But the, I was 12. It was a puberty thing happening. Jane, listen, I, I'm willing to take a shot at this thing if you are. I mean, if it means getting my heart smashed all over the street, I don't care. Jane, I really love you. Come here. Oh, 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 oh. Relax. I'm a health worker. I know how to deal with your pain. your vows before God and these your family and your friends. Let God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. join together. Never separate. I announce to you that you are husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. On Dave, Kurt Russell, Sinbad, Robin Williams, Tanya Tucker, Alec Baldwin, Indigo Girls, and Luke Perry. All this week. Presenting the most refreshing idea to hit tea since the ice cube. Crystal light fruit teas. New tempting peach and sun ripened raspberry. Or crisp lemon tea. Each only five teeny calories. Now that's refreshing. Crystal light teas. What's cooking? Ah, a new ragu sauce, roasted garlic. Hey, call the family, tell them the news, if they haven't gotten a whiff of it already. Ragu, never a dull moment. Chuck Norris in a world premiere movie. I'm always here if you need me. A protege turns to his mentor. You were one heck of a competitor, one heck of a teacher. To stop a psychopath. Someone is randomly killing cops. But the final lesson may be the toughest of all. Chuck Norris leads the Sons of Thunder, CBS next Sunday. Two weeks from tonight, the unforgettable movie event of May, Mario Puzo's The Last Dawn, CBS Sunday, May 11th.
impossible hardships in a savage land and conquered it. But their story was never told. Now, it will never be forgotten. Inspired by a real family saga. True Women, CBS May 18th. Dave, Robin Williams, Roseanne, Sinbad, Indigo Girls, and more add up to a wild, wild week on The Late Show. Now your local news. Coming up, one man is killed during a family argument in Holmes County, plus March's unemployment numbers are in. And it's mixed news. We'll have these stories and more next on News Center 15 at 10. together with some old hands. From time to time, they pass around a few beers. Yeah, too few. So. What are these folks doing here, anyway? Oh, I'm Russell Green. That's my wife, Claire, and my mother, Hattie. You're going to be staying with us for a while. They saw the flyer. This is his idea, not mine. Tell you the truth, we're a little short on hospitality around here. But we got plenty of snakes and scorpions to go around. Well, that's good. Very good. My kids are studying biology, so we can do some field trips. Keep them out of trouble. He's colorful, ain't he? Charming. Sleep okay? I slept great. Soft bed. Didn't have to listen to any snoring. I don't snore. I wasn't talking about you, I was talking about Dinah. Daniel. What? Billy, how's your dad this morning? No, I haven't seen him yet. Guess he's getting his beauty sleep. Please have a seat, Miss Green. Mr. Audi needs to have his head examined. Coffee? Thank you. Rosa, I don't think the help at the Holiday Inn speaks that way in front of their customers. No, I wouldn't worry too much about being compared to the Holiday Inn. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh. <laughs> I worry more about an animal being mistreated. That horse was terrified. Yeah. I'm sorry you folks had to see that. And it won't happen again. Hope you're not apologizing for me. Again. Little hair of the dog keeps the pain away. Dad, these are paying customers here. Don't care. Don't want anyone telling me what to do in my house. If they had any sense, they'd leave anyway. So, what's on the agenda for today? We go and clean out stalls or mend fences? Huh? Well, it's this dude ranch, isn't it? No. Yes. Well, you go to a dude ranch, they put you to work. That's part of the charm. Charm? Yes, that's the whole reason we came here, to experience ranch life. Uh, but since this is your house, nobody's going to tell you what to do. Well, thank you, ma'am. I'm well, fine. Folks want to see what ranch life is like, let them uh, see what it's like. Meanwhile, I've got cattle to sell. Can I help you with the horses? Sure. Any other volunteers? Thank you. 
right there. Don't you move. Hey. What are you doing? Came to help. My daddy drinks beer in the morning, too. Your daddy doesn't look like much of a drinker to me. Come on, get up! That's my Uncle Russell. You don't know where my daddy is. Come on, here! What you doing with them? Somebody's dinner table eventually. Assuming they still want T-bones. Hip, get up there, come on! How many will be left? How many? None. We're selling them all. Oh. Better than worrying about them night and day, trying to hold out for a decent price. Wondering which disease is going to take them, or coyotes or poachers trying to pull the stupider ones out of bushes and bogs. All right, win, thanks. I thought you had to have cattle to be a cowboy. You gonna work that jawbone all day long? You just sit there and be quiet. My daddy used to tell me to be quiet, too. That's good advice. You ought to take it from him. I'd give anything to learn how to rope. Would you teach me? I don't teach roping. And I don't like little boys. Did you like your boy when he was little? I don't remember. I'm gonna put a shovel down. What? And not participate? I'm having too much fun. Mm hmm Well, I'm thinking about all the fun you're gonna have when your back goes out. Oh. Here. Trade me. Man. It's the same thrill, just half the effort. <laughs> Daddy, can we get a horse someday? With or without a cowboy? Grandma. <laughs> With. <laughs> It's that crazy horse from last night. Yeah, you're right. He is crazy. And he's a lot worse around strangers. Right? Be all right. Authentic? Navajo. Mr. Rowdy's father. Traded for them, and his father before that. They were ranchers, too? The first one didn't need a ranch. He was trail boss. They tell stories of him moving cattle every which way, from Texas to Kansas. Mr. Audi's father bought this ranch. So with Billy, four generations of cowboys. <laughs> four generations of dust. Who is that? We don't use this room very often. The living room is much more comfortable. Oh, it is a very beautiful room. Oh, Rosa, I think I could just sit here for three weeks. <laughs> so sit. Of darkening sky and settling cattle. A mournful tune to seal the night. In peacefulness, no stampede surprise. Now my eyes want rest from sights, and on the morning, saguaro sunrise. So pretty. That's Mr. Rowdy, always scribbling something. The missus she used to write them down to keep them safe. I try, but my English is not so good. See, all the loose ones in the back? 
And now she's not here to do it anymore. I'm sorry. This is beautiful poetry, Rosa. My handwriting is not too bad. I could write it down if you like. You could? Mm-hmm, I could. I shouldn't have left it out. He doesn't like it. Oh, look what I found from our trip to Disney World. It sure was great of Mom and Dad to take us. We're lucky to have parents like them. You know, this year is 25th anniversary. I'd hate to miss that. Because the older we get, the harder it'll be to take a vacation together. Should we tell them we're going? Not yet. I'm kind of enjoying this little performance. Come celebrate Disney World's 25th anniversary. Call 1407-W-Disney. And remember the magic. Because it was time you immersed yourself in something other than your work. General Foods International Coffees made me sugar-free, fat-free Swiss mocha. So you can unplug without undoing all the good you've done. The folks at KFC, inspired by the mighty buffalo wing, have taken it one step further and gotten rid of the wing. Behold the mighty buffalo crispy strip, new from KFC. Boneless all-white meat chicken, marinated in those classic buffalo spices. Proof that you don't need wings to have a meal that'll fly. Everybody needs a little KFC. Now try three new buffalo crispy strips with ranch dressing, two sides, and a biscuit, just $2.99. You really want a cellular phone, but you're afraid of the service plans, activation, the true cost. So you go back and forth. Don't do that. Come into Radio Shack. We'll patiently explain everything you need to know about going cellular. You'll see that not only are cellular phones nothing to be afraid of, they're actually quite friendly. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Sign up now for cellular service at Radio Shack and get free activation. Yeah. Because it wasn't enough to be strong-willed. You wanted to be strong. We reward you with new sugar-free, fat-free General Foods International coffees. So you can unplug without undoing all the good you've done. Pop quiz. What's the most important influence on your child's success in school? The answer? You. Studies show that when parents get involved, kids' grades take off. The nanny meets Bette Midler. Hello, Miss Midler. I'm not coming now. <laughs> Ready, Mama? There you go. Comfy? Piece of cake. All right, there's a couple rules of the road. Stay in line until we get up to the bluffs. One horse length apart, and no daylight allowed between you and the saddle. Keep your head's up, heels down, reins loose but not sloppy. Everybody got that? Well, if they didn't, they'll learn soon enough. Horses, my husband and I. Of course, that was a long time ago. Each one of them I used to think of as my child. Don't get her started on horses. She start telling you about how she used to talk to them, how they listen. Better than grandchildren. I wouldn't mind being a cowboy. Get me some boots and spurs, a rope, guns, a whip. Yeah, there's a little more to it than that. I wish you folks could have seen this place the way it was. There's cattle just everywhere. Roundups in the spring last for weeks. What do you do in a roundup? You separate out the new calves for Brandon. Did you rope them? You bet. They don't come to the hot iron on their own free will. <laughs> That's so cruel. Yeah, well, I used to ask my dad, you know, don't it hurt them? He'd say it hurt them a lot worse if they were to wander off and 
lose their mamas. Sounds like a good life. Dad used to ride these fences for hours. Just checking things out, making sure everything was all right. Said he liked looking at the open sky. Doesn't do that anymore, huh? Well, he rides, yeah, but it's not to check things out. I think it's just because he doesn't want to come home. This is Green, isn't it? Yes. Come in. I don't mean to disturb you. Oh, no. Something to drink? No, thank you. Not scared of horses, are you? No. Well, maybe you should be. You were looking at my wife's album, weren't you? Yes, I was. I found it very moving. I hope you don't mind. There was one verse I particularly loved. Ah, uh, I was always too busy to worry about some filly making calico swirls around my heart. But somehow the trail never seemed so long knowing she would be there at the start. No right. No right. This is no hotel. This is my home. These are my things. Excuse me. I hear you raise your voice my wife. That is one unhappy horse. What's his name? His name's Six Shooter. What happened to him? What well, is a long story? Let me tell you a short one. I used to know a magnificent racehorse. When he stopped winning, his owners beat him, starved him, locked him in a dark stall for months, thinking that when he got out, he'd be so happy he'd run faster. Of course he didn't. That's when they decided to sell him to the glue factory. So my husband and I adopted him. So he's OK after that? Oh, not by a long shot. He had the same look in his eyes, that one. But the rodeo came to town. And with it, there was a special guy who had a very great talent with horses. We asked him to come and see ours. And he did. What did he do for him? Went into the corral without a whip, without spurs. He just had a line, just like that. And he tossed it very gently over the hindquarters of the horse. Why don't you try it? Just toss it out. Mm-hmm. It's back. Right. What you do, that horse has got to understand that you're not going to hurt him. So he just keeps on running. If you watch his inside ear, eventually it will lock on you. That means that he is giving you his full attention. When he gets tired of running, he'll start licking and chewing. 
That means he's saying to you, I am a herbivore. I eat grass. I don't eat meat. This is who I really am. And I'd really like to stop running. Okay, good boy, Six. Oh, Billy, you're going to need a lot of patience. And sometimes a horse is so traumatized that they never do come around. But I do believe that horses feel love just as much as they feel hurt. And I know that if you love that horse, you got to keep trying. My daddy's a cowboy boots are a lot newer than yours. Then your daddy wasn't much of a cowboy. You're right, he wasn't. He's in the CIA. He never wore his boots. He said they hurt his feet. I loved them, but one day he hocked them. My daddy hocked everything. I feel sorry for your daddy, but I've got my own problems. You see that stream down there? It's full of rattlesnakes. Why don't you go play in it? You're joking, right? is that to break a horse? He's trying something. Looks to me like you're giving a tea party. You got 10 yards between you and him, and he's still running. Let it alone, Dad. That's what I'm going to do. That horse is gone next week, broke or not, along with the rest of them. What? What are you saying? We can't hardly run no guest ranch without horses. There is going to be a guest ranch. I'm selling out to Ron Higgins. Hey! What are you saying? We can make a go with this. I know we can. We can hold this together. We just need some time. You can't hold what you don't have. Drop everything. Let it go. Get moving to Kmart Summer Apparel Sale, where you save on ladies' tank tops for summer in over 10 colors. Now Kmart priced at just $5.99. CBS. Welcome home. He can't sell this place. I'm sure your father's trying to do his best. Is he? And what about him? Ron Higgins ain't gonna want a renegade. We sooner put him down than keep him. Billy, how'd you get this way? You've got to tell me if I'm going to help you. He was just in an accident a while back. It was a bad one, and he was beat for it real bad, punished. Your father? Horses, remember, it's going to be a long time before he'll be willing to trust anyone. Well, time is the one thing I don't have. Can you imagine losing this place? <laughs> I don't have to imagine it, neither do you. Losing a home, way of life. Seems to me we know that all too well. Oh, but deep inside, I knew we'd be all right, no matter where we ended up. <laughs> yeah. Of course, that was after the panic. Tears, throwing a few pillows against the wall. You did not. <laughs> I most certainly did. Well, do you think my faith is unshakable? Uh-uh. No. Of course, you never really do know until you're tested. I was always so amazed at how well you kept everything together. I mean, you kept everything going. You were always so cheerful. It made me mad now that I can think <laughs> of it. The reason you didn't see how upset I was that's because you were twice as upset. Yeah. I was hurt, resentful. I thought losing your job and everything that went along with it was so unfair. It took me a long time to get back to where I thought things would be all right. I didn't want to lose my home. 
Well, neither does Billy. Poor kid. Or his father. The real man isn't the one hiding behind the bottle. The real one needs this place as much as he needs air. Well, how do you know that? Man's hardly been sober more than two hours at a stretch. I've read his words, Russell. I've read his words. That's not the point. You know it, and you need to take it back. Nathaniel! Let me see that. What in the world's gotten into him? I think he took this from exactly the wrong place. OK, Six. All right, boy, you're going to have to trust me here. Hey, boy. Oh, Billy, I think it's too soon for a saddle. Try this. <laughs> Just this once. So let me try. You've seen this rig before. Six, this ain't nothing new. This is your saddle. Your blanket. Come on. admires you so much. Just get out, Mrs. Green. She's dead. It's yours. Shut up. Put that gun down, Mr. Sullivan. 
Not as long as that animal's still standing. No bullet in the world's gonna fix this. Killing that horse won't fix this. Should have done this a long time ago. It's not gonna change anything. It's not gonna bring her back. It's not gonna bring you peace. I don't even know what that is anymore, ma'am. Out of my way, boy. I'm just gonna have to shoot around you. Mr. Sullivan, could I see that right? Oh, this is a nice brush gun. It is. I hate you. The rules say if you find the grain pasta M&M's, the winning bag could be worth one million dollars. Show me the money. Must have winning game piece on bag. Employees of M&M's, that's us, are not eligible. So, we'll quit. The search is on for imposter M&M's. It used to be that only someone like me could afford fine outdoor furnishings like these. Now, thanks to Target, every Johnny-come-lately can own this or this or even something magnificent as this. Can you imagine? Just pop into the minivan or whatever, and off they go to their backyard. Whatever happened to the upper crust? New from off, it's Moth Proofer. A fresh, simple way to get rid of moths. You peel, you hang, you relax. Because off Moth Proofer has a clean smell of fresh scent. That beats the pants off smelly mothballs. And that's something everyone will appreciate. New off moth proofer keeps moths off. S.C. Johnson Blanks. Hey, Frankie, want some Danish? No, man, I already got complete brand flakes. Mm-hmm. What's something wrong? Yeah, something's wrong. Yeah. They took me off ladders. Yeah, hey, I eat lousy. I haven't been working out. Yeah. I'm beginning to look like a dispatcher. <laughs> got to do something. Thousands of people have started turning their lives around with four little words: Kellogg's Complete Brand Flakes. I guess you're gonna toss that. No. I'll give it to the dispatcher. <laughs> Four little words. Kellogg's Complete Bran Flakes. Can a stick of gum break the ice? Icebreaker. Taste it. Ooh, my breath feels a lot fresher. It's because of these tiny mint capsules. They release these special breath fresheners. Breath fresheners in a gum. Wow. 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 Icebreaker's gum. It really breaks the ice. If your best friend told you a secret... I'll protect you, I swear. ...that could bring down a senator... Your tape is a fake. I'm innocent of any charges. Would you tell the truth? I'm not naming my source. Or risk the consequences? How'd you find out about I'm a reporter. It's my job to find things out. Jane Seymour, William Devane. You'll be shocked by the absolute truth. CBS Wednesday. What are you doing? Can't be so hard roping. I don't have a rope, and we're leaving tomorrow, so this could be my last chance. It's a trick, right? The way you twirl it? Can't be that hard. Give you a hand with that? Although I'd rather help you build it back up than tear it down. I'm doing fine. You just go on back. You know, if uh, Claire and I are apart for more than a day or so, that, that gets pretty rough. Losing her completely, I, I can't even imagine that pain. That horse killed her, Mr. Green. That horse, this bridge, and me. We all got together one fine day and sent Louise to her death. Well, then, I guess if you can't get rid of the horse, you might as well get rid of the bridge, huh? 
Oh, because of some stupid, senseless argument about nothing. Louise, she... She took off on Six Shooter. That's a Palomino. And I took off after them. And I come running fast down by the stream here. A horse shied, lost its footing. Went through the railing. He landed on he landed on top of Louise. She never had a chance. I killed her. Billy's right. My fault. Tell me something. Did uh, did Louise love that horse? You have no idea. Horse love her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, then I imagine he lost something precious that day too. Every time I look at that horse, I I can't help. It. Remember. You remember this. I imagine Billy remembers too. I imagine he remembers his mama riding high in the saddle with a smile on her face. And love in her eyes. Right now, at Palomino is about the only connection he's got to her. Shouldn't be that way. Bad things happen. Good things happen. You got a real good thing right now, Mr. Sullivan. Boy, yours. Till my dad brought that rifle in here. Funny. <laughs> I remember it differently. You spooked that horse when you tried to put a saddle on it. My dad didn't help. He didn't help matters none. No, but shifting the blame doesn't change anything either. <laughs> you and your father have been so mad at each other for so long. You've forgotten how it is to be any other way. A horse is so sensitive. He knows everything that's going on inside you. If you're full of hate, he knows that. No matter what you do, you can't cure that horse. Did you cure yourself? before the next sunset. But, oh, now we have shock absorbers and cushioned seats. <laughs> Need some help? Well, if you don't mind stoking the fire. Uh. You don't get so close, Dinah. I meant to the fire. We wouldn't want to burn that beautiful hair of yours.
You want to spoil the greens last night here? Nope. Rosa took out some of the fixings for your meal. She said she wouldn't fix mine until I brought them. Hey, Rowdy. We're just, uh, sitting around telling campfire stories. I imagine you got a few of your own. Y'all have a good night. My work is dust and dirt and sweat. And then she said, look at him. Just look. He wants to say hello. He squeezed my finger, held, held on, on tight. tight. Like a bronco champ at the rodeo. The pain shot through me like cactus thorns. As his smile lit up the night. Lasso me a moonbeam. Saddle of a cloud. My son arrived tonight. Never heard that one before. That's because I never shared it with you before. There's a lot I haven't shared with you. I'd like to change that. Me too. I figure I'm gonna have to if uh, I'm gonna pass this place on to you. You ain't selling? Big sisters don't like being roped. You pick another target. Well, I know. Oh, oh, no, you don't. Get over here. I'm glad I didn't teach you how to use a whip. Uh, you take your rope, you go over there. That post will do just fine. Why rope? It is now. We're all packed up. I'm gonna be sorry to see you folks go. Thank you for all you've done. Got a great place here. Don't ever let anybody take it away from you. No, sir. Easy, six shooter. You're doing fine. Careful, Billy.
Dan single, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that Claire's niece? Yes. She looks like a very nice girl.